You get trapped inside your thoughts Trying so hard to guess the plot Cause when we meet you'll see The way was really worth it I would wait forever Cause I got faith It's just a matter of time All of the nights we
Hello. Hello to those of you who are here early. I'm I'm not early. I'm starting late. God damn it. I'm starting late. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, it just, I, it was one of those weird days. I don't know. Uh, Morgan and I like woke up early, and then we were tired, uh, and then the day flew by. It was like a weird seasonal affective disorder day, uh, and then um, I, I wanted to work on my YouTube video. Um, if you guys haven't seen the new vlog up, uh, you can use the YouTube command and pull up the the newest vlog entitled Burnout. Uh, please. Uh, you know, watch it first before actually commenting. I forget all the time because I, I'm not as, like, uh, you know, active on YouTube these days. That, like, a lot of the times people just, like, react to the title of the video before watching it. So people were being really nice and they were like, Oh, I'm so sorry that you're, like, dealing with burnout. Just, like, rest up. And I was like, No, no, this is about, like, burnout is over. Like, I'm, I'm streaming again and, like, making shit again and whatever. So... It was really nice that people did that, but I hope that people actually get time to watch the video. Uh, so that's up there. Um, and then I, I didn't realize until... Um, actually, well, uh, yeah, cat catnip.biz, hello, it's you. I'm a mod of the wiki? Wait, what? <laughs> that's, that's actually wild. That's so funny. That's very, very cool. Um, yeah, so I didn't know this. I very much watched your video, Super Sorry to Hear. You're presently at this current moment dealing with burnout. <laughs> I I watched the uh, the title of your video. Hey, what's up, Macari? Good to see you here. Um, real quick, yeah. Um, uh, so catnip there. Hello, hi. Welcome to to our community. Uh, commented on the video. Uh, and had figured out. I, I guess so. Here's the thing. This game that I haven't been able to talk about a lot recently. That I was like, oh, I got to play like basically like this like troll anime like villain, which was. So fun. Uh, if you know anything about the series, you'll hopefully be excited to hear me as, as the character, unless you already have played it and know it's me. But it was really cool. Uh, you know, it was the the, dire the voice direction was like, oh, you can go more anime. And it was, it was that role, um, which was great. I can't wait to announce all the other things I'm in. <laughs> this is just my life as a voice actor. It's like auditioning for things, getting things, going, wow, I can't believe I got that. And then having to just be buried under NDAs. And professional courtesies and whatnot. But, um, so anyway, uh, Catnap had apparently heard me in the game, um, as have a number of other fans of this franchise, because they did, like, a soft announcement that I'm in the game. Uh, the company, like, updated the English dub credits as well as added my actual voice acting to the game. But they told me to wait until they make an official, like, social media announcement for me to announce that I'm the character. So fans of the game who are playing it know that I'm the voice, but everyone else is, who, who hasn't checked out the game series yet is left in the dark. So that is where I'm at with that, which is kind of weird. Uh, that's just kind of how voice acting goes. I mean, this has happened with a number of different things that I've done in the past. Like there's the animation that I did earlier this year that like I still can't announce even though it's technically public on some other things. And um, it, it just, yeah, it's just one of those things where I have to just, I'm, I'm kind of like constantly in my own waiting room, uh, which is interesting, right? Um, this is the liminal spaces of announcement. That's a great way to put it, honestly. Yeah, but I'm like updated on like the official like wiki for the game and stuff. It's really... Interesting. They updated credits for characters that weren't even announced for DLC. Whoa. It's like we uh, look at the credits and we find out, oh shit, these characters are returning before they even make the official announcement. That's wild. That is actually really, really wild to hear because, um, I don't know, it's not like it's the world's biggest company. So I just feel like um, communication shouldn't be... And, and I met the localization team. They're great. They're fantastic. They gave me really good... Uh, direction but it just feels like maybe a little bit of communication breakdown on there and i'm not even on the screen yet god why do i do that every time <laughs> blame it on the adhd right um but yeah that's uh that's where i'm at with that announcement and then obviously you guys know i'm in cook serve forever uh but i can't even announce the characters yet uh until i get like the concept art of those is what i was told so we're just you know we're waiting we got the the animation coming up there's a whole bunch of other cool things that I've gotten a voice recently, but yeah, I'm very excited. And uh, thank you again, Catnap. That was really nice uh, 
for you to not like leak it uh in the comments and then also um still be like yeah i i like i know it's you um this kind of neat amanda thank you so much for the 28 months i appreciate that thank you yeah that is a long time amanda i hope that you're doing well um i know that normally fridays those of you who are familiar with what we started last week fem fridays uh are are meant for me to do some uh cosplay stuff and i'm clearly not in cosplay tonight uh but that's because i'm exhausted and i i got a lot of other stuff done today you know i got the again the youtube videos up so you guys can go check that out um but you know it's holiday time i had a really nice uh thanksgiving with morgan's family yesterday we went over to her parents house to have some some thanksgiving food which was great uh so there was that uh so I had two Thanksgivings because obviously we went to my folks on Sunday, which was very, very fun. Um, but now I'm here. I had some Thanksgiving leftovers, and then I, I listened to my own voice in in a game and read some fan feedback. So far, everyone, by the way, this this uh, franchise that I'm I'm joining is very, very passionate. Like they're not like the biggest franchise in the world, but like the fan base is very, very, very like. They, they're like they want the best for the series like um, they're not afraid to like call the dev out when the dev is doing stuff that's like a little bit weird um, they are very into the characters and the lore and the gameplay mechanics and it's really cool to see uh, just passionate people you know it's like what we talk about here all the time find that thing that like makes your heart beat fast and like love it that's that's awesome to do I love seeing that so I was very afraid um, that they were gonna like hate me and I'm sure some of them will, and that's that's their opinion. That's fine. They're allowed to have that opinion. Um, but uh, I was really afraid because I was like, the, the Japanese voice actor that I did the dubbing for is phenomenal. He's so good. And there's no way with my my American English voice I, I can even imitate uh, like the timbre of his voice and the, the tone, the, the inflection that he has. Like it, it just doesn't translate over like that. And I was receiving some very, very specific uh, vocal direction when I was doing the voice acting. Um, so it was one of those things where like I listened back to like my files and I was like, ah, shit, like it's funny and it's fun for this character, but it's not, it doesn't sound anything like, you know, what the what the Japanese VO did. Um, and I was just like, oh man, this, this is not gonna go over well, but uh, there's a bunch of really nice comments about the voice acting already, so. Really happy about that. Really, really happy about that. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's uh, kind of delayed me a little bit. Um, I will say this. This was the second Korean that I got to voice this uh, the past couple years here, which is really awesome. Very happy. Um, is this the anime boss battle edition? Yes. Yep. Yeah. high pitch villain. Yeah, it was really nice because, um, you know, you hear a bunch of horror stories from when you're in this industry of other voice actors who are like, Oh man, I did a session last night and I like shredded my vocal cords and like, you know, I, I can't like speak very well today. And it's just like, oh, that's brutal. That sucks. That's, that's really, really rough. Um, and uh, this was one where they wanted a specific pitch out of me, which you'll hear again whenever the, the game is allowed. Maybe I'll play the game and then I'll just slyly be like, yeah, we're starting a new playthrough. I... Uh, <laughs> And then we'll, like, get to my part, and I can't confirm or deny if it's me until they, like, let me have the go-ahead. Maybe I'll just start playing the game. Because it's out on Steam. The voice acting's been added. It's just that I, they haven't given me the official nod to to do the, like, announcement on my end. Maybe I'll just do that. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, but they wanted this, like, really high-pitched voice, and uh, I was, you know, hitting the lines. Um, but the, the voice director... Uh, Diana was really awesome and she was just like oh hey like let's take like a one minute break uh, just because this is like a really high pitched thing I don't want you to like you know shred up your, your vocal cords or anything too much and that was really cool because um, I've taken live direction before and I've not normally gotten that so it was very very cool to have her be concerned for her actors his Japanese voice actor is very good I'm upset he doesn't get more roles he's oh my god he's, like I was when I was studying his voice for the role I was like Holy crap, he's like amazing. Your English voice acting is really fucking good, especially for the small amount of lines you have so far. Thank you, that's really nice of you. Um, yeah, they, they were talking to me about um, if they end up localizing and dubbing over a bunch of the other stuff, they're gonna have me come back for it, which is really very flattering. 
At least on my end, I don't really expect the tone of a character's voice to be one-to-one -one for any language dubbing. Yeah, no, I, I agree as well, um, but it, it's just one of those things where it's hard not to compare myself to the Japanese VA because he's he's phenomenal. He's really, really good. Like, I'll, I'll have to play you... I, I'm going to play chat whenever I'm allowed to announce... Um, like the comparison of the voice acting not because i think one's better than the other but just because i i i love the way that he delivers this character's lines it's very good the character in the same franchise who has a lot of similarity between the japanese and english voice actors which is good in some cases but variety is also nice the spice of life that's a great way to put it i like that yamanaka what's up hello hi very excited to see your interpretation of pac-man oh uh, you're not supposed to leak that oh no you're not supposed to leak that i was pac-man I know, the, the iconic waka 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 waka. Like, I did my own interpretation of it. I wanted to sound like Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball Z. So I was like, waka waka, you know? Like, I, I hope fans like it. I really do. It was a new direction. Um, <laughs> where, did this, where did this chat go? Anyway, guys, I know it's late. I started late. I had a feeling that um, most people would be full of Thanksgiving leftovers or Black Friday shopping or uh, they're stuck at home with their family. And they have to unfortunately do family time or they have one of those households that's like, all right, even though you're an adult visiting, uh, lights out at 7 p.m. Um, so we're just here for whoever wants to make it here for the holiday weekend. And I appreciate all of you who are showing up here and hanging out. It's good to see y'all. Uh, you're the only Pac-Man I'll support. <laughs> Did you know if you scratch the inside of your ear, it sounds like Pac-Man. Don't, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I feel like this is some trick. I feel like I'm being baited somehow. Oh, boy. I'll try it after stream and let you know what I think. How's that? Um, but anyway, chat, if you got good news, drop some in the chat. I'd love to read it right now as long as it's something we can all comfortably enjoy together. And then uh, we'll get going with some Disney Dreamlight. Again, I wanted to do Femme Friday tonight, but also just the day's schedule's packed. You know how it is. Crazy life of a, a famous voice actor and, and YouTuber and whatnot. But, um, yeah, we're just very, very busy. So we'll get Femme Friday in, hopefully Sunday. Sultry Sunday, you know? Maybe it's just a little fun thing. Um, good news, I'm final, or nearly finished with my art project. Hey, way to go, that's amazing. No, I'm serious? Wait. <laughs> All right, wait, what if I do it over here off camera? I guess it kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you, you didn't just like clip that and like, oh my God, idiot streamer falls for like easy bait. Suffering from success. Ah, yeah, booked and busy. You know how it is. I've actually been... It's funny because um, here near nearer to the end of the year, um, I'm, I'm like, man, I, I got a lot done at the beginning of last year. You know, we had the big Yu-Gi-Oh thing. I've been working with uh, Pokemon, which is awesome. Uh, there's a bunch of other cool things uh, behind the scenes. And I'm like, man, oh, man, I, I think that um, being booked and busy is... Even though it's, like, good for me... Uh, it's it's okay for it to like slow down a little bit. It's all right for me to like slow down a bit on some of that stuff. Good news, my Thanksgiving wasn't actually bad, and I got to see my little cousins. That's so cute, Nico. I'm so glad that it didn't go horribly. I know that it's like a sore spot for a lot of people because you know you have to be around family a lot of the times. Um, sometimes people you haven't seen in a while. Sometimes people are less accepting, whatever, and it it sucks. It really sucks because you can't like really choose that sometimes. Um, so. It's just one of those things where uh, I hope that you know if you had to weather a storm or if you're still, you know, somewhere for the weekend or whatever. You, you got here, you got this community, here Twitch, YouTube, social media, whatever. Um, hang out, you know, make some friends, join the Discord. Uh, know that there's a lot of like-minded individuals who want the best for you. Uh, Dwucky, hello. It's a Sweetie Brian? What the heck? You're calling me a, a sweetie? That's very nice of you. Dwucky, I hope you're having a good night. Welcome to the chat. Acto, what's up? Good to see you. Kia, thank you for the 16 months. Dang. I'm on a bus and I keep losing signal, so I'm... Oh, no, Kia, I'm sorry. I hope your bus ride goes well. It was nice to see you here while you are able to make it. Oh, my gosh. Good news, I started to sketch out and format my fan webcomic. Oh, I love that. I've redrawn it like six times, but I'm finally getting to a point where I like it. Oh, that's so fun. That's really fun. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying, like, you know, you work at stuff, right? You work at it and you get a little bit better incrementally. And then it becomes, like, really, you know, something that you can be proud of. Love hearing about that kind of glow up. 
Used to be around, but dropped out of a lot of my favorites due to depression. Yo, Dwaki, I'm so sorry to hear that you were dealing with that. That's something that, like, literally just put up a YouTube about that today. Um, it's just something, you know, it doesn't matter how far you've come or what your, your life circumstances are like. Sometimes your mental just, you know, gets the better of you. And there's no shame in admitting that and working through it at your own pace. And just know, again, lots of people here who understand that kind of thing. It's nice to see you again, then. I... Uh, Good news, I recently ordered an Apple Watch. It will arrive next Monday. So stoked to receive it. Nice. Yamanaka, get a good, like, Black Friday deal on it or something? I've been eyeing one. I've been thinking about getting one. And then I was like, why do I want more push notifications in front of me? I guess it would keep me from pulling my phone out of my pocket. I have a smartwatch. I, why don't? Why would I look at an Apple Watch? I have a smartwatch. It, it already does that. It's. it's <laughs> I just got to remember to use it. Wait, who's, who's most annoying sounding me? Honestly, the oh, only Catnap, thank I you. Found out before the announcement was because I literally love the character in oh. <laughs> since 2016. Oh He's my god. Boy. Korean 88 speaking voice in Korean <laughs> Thank you so much, Catnap. That was really generous of you. Thank you so so much for that. That's very kind. I'm so glad uh, that you love this character. He's he's ridiculous. He's an absolutely ridiculous character. Wait, why are two people uh, ah, Why are two people nagging at me? Thank you! It's nice to see you again, Brian. It's been a while since the con with Ethan. Oh gosh, that old crank gameplay is... Oh, well thank see? you! That's really nice of you! I love that Justin's voice when... See? At the end there. God, she tries so hard. Uh, Dwaki, that was really nice as well. Thank you for that generosity, both of you. Uh, that's unbelievable. It's like almost midnight East Coast time and I, I'm just like goofing around and whatever. Um, well, thank you. That's very, very kind. I met you twice, so nice to see you again. Oh my god, well that's so nice. Thank you, uh, like, thank you for the, I, I hope you know you never have to, like, donate or anything like that. Like, I, I know this, like, sounds so insincere in the weird, like, parasocial world that we're living in now, but, like, I really mean it. Like, people give their time, their energy. People have been in the community for, like, 10 years almost now. Some, some of the oldest, like, subscribers. People go out to cons, they spend, like, hundreds, thousands of dollars to, like, meet me or watch me talk on panels and stuff and that's just wild to me and uh like you know you guys like take flights and rent hotels and he like just know i i appreciate just your like time and your investment oh, already so please never feel pressured to donate but no i appreciate it a lot well, thank you yo gaming pagan i hope that you uh get some good rest and also enjoy the chill moments or chaos or whatever it is that you witness while you're able to be here hope you've been having a nice weekend thank you so much for stopping by he only likes and reset in 29 old. months god like dang it's a long time sandy 21 Wowie. let's go Wowie. Hello, from the end, of a gig. <laughs> end of a gig wait what kind of gig what did you do thank you so much by the way for that that long long form support y'all know the adhd moment when you need to have like two videos and music playing at the same time <laughs> yes <laughs> Uh, literally anytime Morgan and I watch a movie, I have, like, my Steam Deck or, like, my Nintendo Switch up. Oh, my God. So, listening to Distractable playing Brian's Burnout video at the same time while sewing a patch into a jacket. You know what's so funny, too, is people who don't have ADHD don't think that we can't absorb a lot of that all at the same time, right? It's pretty wild. Uh, but we can! It's, like, our superpower. Sometimes we, like, zone some of it out. But I, I, I notice that, like, I'm better at multitasking. Conversation is where it gets hard for me, but if I'm, like, actively listening to stuff, that's when I can, like, really thrive in those environments. So I totally get where you're coming from. Pre-ordered it, uh, so I paid full price, but I'm so happy. I'm so glad that you got it for yourself. You're treating yourself, Yamanaka. It's what I tell you every single time. Treat You better be treating yourself. You know, many resubs tonight. I love it. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Everyone's so kind. I photograph at comedy shows around the city. Oh, my God. That's so cool. That What a cool gig. I think you told me about that before, Sani. That's a really interesting job. I love the idea of that just because it's just like, I don't know. You you think about stuff like photography and like a, a official press promo shots and whatever. And it's something that like someone has to do, right? Somebody out there has to do that. Um, but you never like really think of like who's doing it. So to know someone who does that now because of the community, that's really cool. I love hearing about that kind of stuff. Uh, I was doing photoshops. Wait, what's why? Why are we blowing me up tonight? Of fans of redacted, being passionate. I've oh my been the gosh! Of this fan wiki for four years. I'm oh wait, really? I'm so normal about characters. <laughs> That's incredible. Four years. That is so cool. Thank you so much for the hundred bits. That's really nice of you. 
So in Photoshop stuff from my photography class, I was watching a tutorial for the assignment while editing and watching another tutorial on drawing perspective. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Someone's got to do it and it's me, it's you! Being able to multitask is fine until you forget to put away the multitasking things. So now there's 80 damn tabs in <laughs> yeah. Work software open and we need more snacks and drinks. Yep. Oh yeah. It, it sometimes piles up a bit. Uh, I learned that Mark wouldn't ever want to pee worms because he pees a lot. That, I mean, I don't think, does, no one wants to pee worms. That's a weird... <laughs> Well, hearing you talk about how you tried out a deadline on burnout and it backfired. My brain either works at 100 miles an hour or literal dial-up speed with no in-between. Listen, I, again, I get it. You're talking to someone who has dealt with ADHD for 30 plus years. It is just something that, oh boy. <laughs> Yo, what the heck, catnap and, and a sub too? That's really nice to you. Uh, nice of you. It's nice to you, I hope, as well. I hope you enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. I promise I'll stop blowing you up. No, no, th listen. This is a, a very much a community-based um, community. That was very redundant, but it really is the case. You can talk to anyone who's been here for years. I, I love to talk. The, the video games I play, the stuff that I do on stream is normally like a background thing to me. Sometimes I get wrapped up because I'm interested in the stuff. Uh, I get distracted because of ADHD a lot, but I'm I'm here to like interface with people. I'm here to talk to everyone who wants to come by and like vibe. Um, that's my favorite thing. Is I, I I was a YouTuber first and foremost for like you know uh, God I don't know how long like six years before I even like started regularly streaming, and then after I I uh, sort of moved more of my resources over here to Twitch. Um, I, I just like enjoy the community sort of live feedback aspect of what happens in live streams. Uh, but yeah, originally I, I only did streams as a way to like supplement my interaction with my YouTube community. And now, now it's sort of flip flopped. So yeah, no, don't, don't ever feel bad about like blowing me up or, or talking in chat a lot or whatever. Can't count the amount of times I've needed to consult a fan wiki. I love fan wikis. I think they're awesome. I, I do it for, yeah, it's like keeping track of lore or wanting to know more about characters from like source material that you're not able to like get your hands on very much. Community is made of community. <laughs> Silent Green is made of people. We have a community for our community. We kind of do. Community embedded with community fibers. <laughs> yeah. I love the cults of community and a community that is included with a community. <laughs> God, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Morgan just uh, texted me something. Apparently, did you guys get the Discord notification or did that not come through? She, I was just told that it didn't come through. Why is the Discord bot? Like, okay, so it posted my YouTube video? Um, Here, let me do this. I'm going to say, Morgan just informed me that the bot didn't tell everyone I was live, so please... Click this link so my ego can grow like the mighty oak. Is that a, that a good one, everyone here already? Listen, you guys are the the true. You guys are winning the most parasocial points by being here early. Yeah, there we go. I think that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. That that was funny to me, at least. No Discord notification? What the heck? Wait, we have a hype train? When did that happen? Thank you very much. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, we have a, we do have a Discord. Um, so, uh, most of the time, that he bot really works. Oh, my God. Why not? So yeah, many... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. So many people are getting their sweatpants. If you guys don't know about the merch that we have. Um, I did do a big, big, big merch restock. Uh, so if you're looking for gifts for the holiday season or to treat yourself, um, we only have a, a like I think like four of each thing left. So it's right at the end, but maybe grab them. Those of you who have gotten the sweatpants, I hope that you love them. I've gotten a lot of feedback on the sweats and the uh, beanie of people enjoying them. I know I do. I, I love them. I mean, I talk about it in the vlog where it's like, I wouldn't sell you guys something bad. And then it's like, wait a second. That sounds so weird. Like, uh, <laughs> no one's going to admit to selling, like, shitty things. Um, I, I I don't know. I, I really, I love the beanie and the, and the sweatpants. Those are probably two of my favorite items that we've ever released from the merch store. Uh, SPN, what's up? Hello. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, by the way, for the hype train and all the donations and stuff that came through. I... Was not expecting that uh, when I went live at 11.15 p.m. 
on a, a random, like, what? I almost said Saturday. A random Friday uh, where people are, like, busy with family stuff and uh, whatever else everyone's up to. Um, really appreciate everyone who's dropped by. Very, very kind of all of you. Um, again, we're going to be doing some uh, some Disney. If uh, you're coming in late and you want to share good news, feel free to do so. But, yeah, we'll be, we'll be vibing with Disney. We'll be talking about whatever. Thank you so much, Nico, for the reminder to hydrate. It's been so dry in here. Morgan and I just bought a new uh, humidifier because it's like, it's just, God, the winters here are so dry. I need to redo my Disney. Oh, my God. It's, it's so fun. I really, really enjoy it. I'm glad that a lot of other people are playing it. I'm so excited for the vibes. Yeah, it's going to be good, I think. I hope. <laughs> you never know here. Sometimes chat careens off into talking about, like, hey, other chatters, would you still love me if I turned into a wheel of cheese, you know? Uh, yo, what's up, Zeppelin? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. And then, then we just, like, careen off in outer space and things get weird. So, who knows? We'll see what happens. I love Disney to just vibe out with. Again, sorry to anyone who is looking forward to Femme Fridays. Um, if you arrived late, Femme Friday will be moved to Sunday. We're going to do a sultry Sunday. Um, Morgan and I might like open Pokemon cards or I might just game again or something. I don't know, but you will be getting cosplay. I just didn't feel up to it tonight because it was such a late start with putting up the YouTube video. Again, please use the YouTube command if you want to see the revival of my YouTube channel. I'm going to work really hard to get the algorithm back on my side and make stuff that I love making and that uh, people like watching. Fairy Decay, what's up? Hello, hi, welcome, welcome. It's so fun. It is so fun. I, I love Disney. It's just, it's a fun game. And then, like I said, I got distracted because I had no idea that they had done a soft launch of my, um, my voice being patched into the video game that I can't announce yet because I haven't been given the green light on officially announcing it. So I was watching clips of me in the game, which is always surreal. I always pick apart my own performances, too. You guys know me. But, um, yeah, it's it, it was cool to hear me in another thing and then um, see the fan feedback is, is mainly positive so far on it. Uh, and the people who don't like it, I mean, that's fine. It's very hard to compare to the Japanese voice actor of the original. He's just unbelievably good. Um, stretch reminder, because my shoulders are bad and you shouldn't be like me. Yeah, yeah, stretch more. Morgan uh, did the thing that I told you guys happened to me the other day where I'm like so old that I like reached into the backseat of our car and I like pulled my shoulder muscle for like a full like minute. Um, she did that the other day. I think she was like reaching to like grab something or whatever and she was like, ow, ow. And I was like, yep, happens to me every day. Old. Yo, what the heck? Who's anonymously gifting? I'm calling you out of the shadows. You're going to be banished. Uh, thank you, Anonymous. Whoever you are, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Vintage Wine. Vintage, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. I am powerful once again. You are. Look at that. Freaking Jolteon badge. Love seeing that here. Thank you very much. Anonymous, really generous of you, whoever you are. Thank you. Anime Fangirl, what's up? Hello. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. We're about to get uh, Disney Dreamlight booted up, so... Hope that people are ready for just some chill vibes, post-holiday vibes. I know that, like, again, some people are stuck at home in uncomfortable situations or had to, like, deal with family that they, like, don't see eye to eye with about stuff. Um, you know, sometimes just, just the idea, even if you had a good time, the idea of traveling around is always, like, draining. Uh, it's time for just some, like, wind down together. Some people had to, like, go out shopping for Black Friday, so even worse, some people had to work it, and I, as someone who used to work retail and has worked several Black Fridays, it's terrible. It's it's awful. I, I feel for you all, so I hope that you can find a way to just sort of, like, hang out and, and relax, kick back. Don't feel too pressured about anything here. So, yeah, I'm going to lurk it up while I work. Well, good luck with the work. Why not? And thank you so much for lurking here. Um, got to eyewitness one of my sister's cats going into heat. Oh, don't watch that. <laughs> you're, not, you're not supposed to watch that that's private time uh excited uh i'm a play now because uh brian says to play what wait wait what wait are you you're playing now as well you're playing I, a lot of people like parallel play this while i'm playing it which is awesome it was like back when i used to do animal crossing streams and everyone in chat was like i'm playing animal crossing too right now i love that it's kind of fun 
my fiance is playing Scarlet while my game designer heart is bleeding. It's pretty fun watching him play. Oh my god, yeah, it's such a broken game. It's so glitchy and buggy. But at its core, it really is like one of the better shifts in direction for the Pokemon series. It feels very fresh in a lot of its ideas, and I really like it a lot. I like the quality of life upgrades for like the speed of like catching things and the speed of like auto battling and stuff. It's so snappy. It feels really, really good. I've been having a blast with it. You guys have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been putting up pictures in my uh, Instagram stories about it. And uh, really people on Fan House, old. you get she's pictures of my cute character funny. when I celebrate milestones in the game. I love it. Really fun. And shiny hunting's fun. Everything's fun in it. Black Crafty, Friday what's up? Stars. Hello. So now I'm going to vibe with Violet and Shatter Obo Cozy. Oh my god. Chronic, you are a, a goddamn war veteran at this point. Holy cow. Thank you so much. For 44 months. So sorry that you had to deal with all that. Uh, I'm sure it was nothing but nonsense. But hope you can kick back and enjoy your time here with the community tonight. So, yeah. Definitely buy Pokemon Scarlet once the bu the bugs and lag are fixed. Yeah, I think that they're planning a big patch. A part of me kind of doesn't want them to fix it. Because some of the bugs are goddamn hilarious. But for a better gaming experience for people, I do hope that they do patch things very soon. Especially because they're a multi... They're literally the most successful company in the entire world. Um, they they need to, to do the right by their consumers, I think. So, finally caught my first shiny in violet. Yo, congrats! Yo, I, I got uh, a full odds shiny um, Toxel that I evolved into a Toxtricity. And I got a full odds uh, um, Mareep that I evolved into an Pharos last night. Oh, man, it's so fun. It's so great. Congrats to you. Rachel Bethy, thank you for the six months. Thank you so much for becoming a gold Eevee here. That's really nice of you coming back that long. Hi, Heike forgot Black Friday happened. Me too. I didn't do any shopping. Um, some of the, like, you guys know the viral from, like, what, a couple years ago? The viral strawberry dress from Lyrica Matoshi. It's on sale right now, and there's, like, part of me is thinking about buying it, but it's a shit ton of money still. It's not, like, it's not even 50% off, so I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want to know waste my money on that right now but we'll see um ui ux is amazing in it though i'm impressed yeah absolutely zeppelin like i said there's a lot of quality of life improvements in uh scarlet and violet um really loving violet so far uh just joined hey what's up risk it ryan welcome to the stream oh my god get it it's still like the the dress is still like 300 something bucks so like 350 dollars it's originally 500 so it's not even a 50 percent off deal so, money is temporary, strawberry dress is eternal. Yeah, I, Chad has wanted me to do a strawberry dress cosplay for a very long time. Treat yourself? I, I gotta save up for, like, taxes next year and stuff. I don't know if I can just buy a 350 dress. Well, I, I know I can. But, like, it's that thing in the back of my head where it's like, Oh, I'll buy the $350 strawberry dress. It will become, like, a cosplay. It will be, like, a cool thing. But, like, what if that same day my computer explodes and something breaks in my apartment that I need to replace and Morgan's car breaks down and uh, I have to, like, right now we're, we're looking at uh, plane tickets to go out to L.A. so we can see no, Ethan for the first time in over a year. Um, oh, my God. What the heck? Anonymous? He what is going on? She's old. She's like Thank 20. you. Ah! Thank you. You can look cute in court for tax evasion. <laughs> Oh Punch my me. god. Thank you so much, Anonymous, whoever you are. Thank you so much for giving this stuff to Ajiri, uh, J Stitches, Majoris Knights, Moonshroom Luna, and Possum Gamer. If any of you are here, hope you're having a great he weekend so far. If old. not, she's I hope that you enjoy your time here Bye. and that you enjoy the emotes and the sub badge from the generosity of someone else. That's really, really nice. Uh, yeah, Twitch did a really nice Black Friday uh, subscriber deal for uh, Twitch subs. 0% off today. So you're st you pay uh, full price. Wow, crazy. Very generous, Amazon. Reject Lambo fund. <laughs> Listen, strawberry dress fund. Oh, God, how many gifted subs would that even be? Um, that'd be a lot. So uh, obviously the news broke for people who don't know uh, during the discourse earlier in the year. Uh, Twitch streamers, we get 50% of every sub. So you spend $5 on a sub and we get $250. Um, which is why a lot of people are like, oh, if you want to, like, donate, you know, like, donate, like, money through, like, PayPal's or whatever. Uh, but, so, two, 350 bucks divided by 200, or $2.50. Is 
That's like over a hundred. So that's way too many. We're. I don't think that we're gonna ever. That, like we shouldn't do that. That would be irresponsible. Been eyeballing a few games that went on sale in the PlayStation Store. See, games I think are worth it. Um, for the most part, yeah. It, like, cause a lot of them do go fifty percent off or more. Uh, and especially when it's like a newer title where you're getting a full 50% off. That's really, really nice. And then a lot of the times games that are only a couple years old are like, eh, hey, it's seven bucks on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or whatever. I love, and especially because like you're getting a whole like built out product that you're going to be experiencing and that you can like read reviews on ahead of time and stuff like that and really research. I think that a lot of the times like the game deals are worth it. Um, but like stuff where it's like, oh, this is like a designer dress that like I do not need. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna pay, you know, 350 bucks for it. $600 worth of subs for a dress? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> Once payday hits later next week, I'm going to buy a couple Switch games I've had my own. Hell yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, Switch games are, are fun. It's why I love my Steam Deck. Yeah, gaming on the couch or in bed. Twitch, PayPal, being openly proud about theft. Yeah, yeah. It sucks, but like at least PayPal is a little bit better than the 50-50 split that Amazon gives on uh, subs. Not that I don't appreciate them a lot. Not that like when we hit sub milestones, I'm not a static beyond the moon. But if you're one of those people who's like, well, I have like the chance to like gift a couple subs here, or I can like gift uh, X amount of bits, or I can gift like a direct dono through like PayPal. Um, the other two options. 99% uh, of the time are probably going to save you a little bit of money. Um, although, like, I, I love gifted subs because they do spread a lot of joy. Like, people get access to the sub badges and the emotes, and it feels like a really community-centric thing, which I really, really love about that. But I always like to give a little bit of a reminder just for those people who are trying to, like, especially right now, like, you got to stretch your money um, as much as you can. So I, I always just give the heads up on that. But I do, and that's why, like, I think, I think that's why I'm always like, yo, I really appreciate, like, the subs a lot. Because, like, I know that's, like, a, a thing that is weird, you know? It's, like, a weird topic right now. Um, if you sub to me, it's anonymous, whoever's been subbing here tonight, uh, and everyone who's, like, resubbed and stuff, like, please know that, that's, like, above and beyond. That is so unbelievably nice. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I haven't even, uh, thought about game sales. I'm gonna go check Steam right now. Yeah, Steam normally does a really good one. Um, Nintendo, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, they all kind of do some good ones. Put the dress on Throne? I don't know. I feel kind of bad about that. Because here's the thing. I don't think it would get funded, like, tonight. And I say that, um, knowing full well that some of you have funded things within, like, a, the a moment I put them up on the Throne wish list. Um, but, uh, it, and, and then I'd feel bad, like, if it shot back up to full price and it was uh, like someone buying a $500 dress for me. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'd feel like I'd have to put that in like a <laughs> Pokemon card top loader to keep it like safe. If PayPal took 50%, I would genuinely implode. Yeah, I would, I would lose it. Um, like Soul Hackers 2 is 30% off. Yeah, that's, I don't know. That's kind of stingy, but that game apparently is awesome too. I've had such a horrible time with money at my job having a, a, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Dwucky, I don't I don't mean to, to make you feel bad or anything. I'm going to read the rest of your message really quick here, but just like uh, it's a somewhat heavier topic, so I just have to time out that one uh, message there just because uh, that that's something that could be a little bit heavy for someone else to read about. I'm so sorry. I'm genuinely so, so sorry that you went through that. I don't want you to feel bad for writing that. Um, just a reminder, please check the rules of the community. So... You know, you know the sort of rules we have here about heavier topics like that. Um, really sorry to hear that you're dealing with those struggles, and please know that we're here for you. We, we're supporting you and everything like that. But um, yeah, just yeah, just uh, you know, thank you, thank you very much for for trusting us with that info, um, and know that we will be here 100 percent to support you through rough times. Won a money prize? Uh, whoa, from a fan art contest, and PayPal took $20 from the $100 prize? Whoa, that's, yeah, that's yucky. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that they do that. You deserve that full 100 Saying that is like a whistle to the feral side of the community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be adding anything to the throne wish list is immediate danger for my, me freaking out, you know? Um, when I'm listening to the stream, I'm going to train my Pokemon team. Yeah, heck yeah. Get to it. Um, it's just rough, so I like spreading love to people. Totally understandable. 100% understandable. Just one of those rules we have here. Um, just because, again, like, 
you never know what anyone else is going through in the moment. So um, we all have like various uh, tolerances for things. And we just always try to be as mindful and kind as possible. Not that you weren't being kind um, at all. But just, just as a heads up on the reasoning for that. Um, but please don't feel bad. Know that we appreciate your, your presence here and everything like that. Ash learned that the hard way with her stream deck. Oh my god, yeah. So she, she was like, like scream texting me. About that. So, you don't, if you guys don't know my friend Ashley Roboto, easily no one of my favorite that. people that I've met um, in the past, you know, couple years here. Uh, like, probably, like, my very favorite human being uh, that I've, I've, like, met through content in a very long time. Like, I, like, all my friends are great, but there's something that's just so unbelievably kind and, and awesome and, and wonderful about um, Ashley. But she, those of you who don't know her, um, actually, I'm gonna, I'll give a little shout out. We'll use the shout out command because I love the shout out command. It's so cool that we have this now. Um, go follow Ashley Roboto. If you don't, uh, she streams at way more normal human being times than me. She streams in the morning. Um, but she's wonderful. She plays a lot of, like, JRPGs. Thank you, by the way, Noray, for a gifted sub to Dwaki. Dwaki, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. Please, again, don't feel bad, Dwaki, at all. Just know that uh, it's something I like to point out every now and then. And uh, know that you're you're appreciated by the community. You're getting a little bit of community love there with that gifted sub. Enjoy those emotes and the sub badge. Noray, thank you for another gifted sub to Anime Fangirl. Anime Fangirl, make sure you're saying thanks to Noray. Um, enjoy being a sub here again. Thank you to everyone supporting these streams. All of you are awesome. So, so kind. Uh, I watched her a few times. She's true, darling. Uh, yeah, oh my god. Um, Ashley Roboto is not only... She's like a quadruple threat. Like, she's like one of the nicest human beings I've ever met in my life. Super supportive friend. Uh, incredibly talented uh, content creator. And just someone... I don't know. She's just... She's a born, like, entertainer. Um, she's just... I don't know. She's like... It has, like, therapeutic vibes, like, emanate off of her. And chaos, yeah, because she does stuff like the heat picks, absolutely. Um, where she has the hand feet, which are just like <laughs> they break your brain when you see them. Just check now, Dreamlight Valley's twenty percent off at the moment. Mm. Might want to hold off though, because next year it's it's going to be free. It's going to be a free to play title. So just as a heads up, if you want to get on and on the action now, you get like I think like the founders pack stuff, where you get like extra pets and and outfits and cool things like that. Um, but, uh, if you want to wait and save a little money, it is going free next year, which is really cool. I just got this game yesterday. I already put in like 15 hours. Yeah, it's so good. It's so fun. It's very chill. Um, I love it. It's just like, it's one of my comfort games at the moment where if I'm like having a day where I'm really tired or I'm like a little bit down or whatever, uh, this, this is such an easy game to toss on my steam deck or sit here at my computer and play a little bit and like get some resources or advance a couple quests and, just hang out. It's, it's it's wonderful. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be free. Yep, it's gonna be free. Um, which is great. I love that they're that one of the richest corporations in the world is like, Hi. yeah, we, we we can afford to make it free, and we can like afford to make it good because that's the other thing. It's pretty good. I won't lie. You know, I was skeptical when this game came out, uh, but they've been patching it pretty actively. Their social media is really active and, and transparent about stuff that they have planned. Uh, they're adding so many new characters and realms and cool activities and resources and, and things like that. And I'm so excited for them to do that because I genuinely have been having a blast with this game. It's very, very fun to me. Um, what was I talking about? It's like, oh, yeah, Ashley. Sorry. I got distracted, as you know happens here. Um, Ashley... Those of you who don't know. Hey, what's up, Brookie? Welcome to the stream. Put a Steam Deck because her community started bullying her that she should... She was like, oh, I've been thinking about getting a Steam Deck because it would be, like, really nice to game on the couch with Max or, like, while I'm watching TV or a movie or, and not have to, like, sit at my computer all the time and be stuck in my office. And I've seen um, where Ashley lives and, you know... Definitely the type of setup where it's like it would be really nice for her to be able to get away from the computer and be able to like just enjoy herself like wherever she pleases. Um, so her community positive bullied her into adding it to her throne wish list, and within like a, an hour or two, they funded the entire Steam Deck. Which, for those of you who don't know, Steam Decks are $500. Uh, and Ashley's community is really big, and 
um, just really, really nice. And, and, you know, we have some incredibly generous people here, and I appreciate all of you a ton. Uh, but her community, like, think of this community times, like, 20. And that is what happened. They, yeah, they funded it in under an hour. Okay, 30 to 40 minutes. That is wild. So now she has a Steam Deck, and she was, like, spam scream texting me about it. About how flattered she was. And this is, again, this is one of those things. She does not have to operate this way privately. You know, there's a lot of creators, and obviously I'm not trying to throw shade or start drama or anything like that, but there's a lot of creators I've met over the years who are, I'm the cozy, fun, comfy, nice streamer or, like, YouTuber, and, like, it's all positivity and blah, 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 and things like that, and then I, I've hung out with them, like, behind the scenes at events or parties or gotten to know them more personally and been in, like, discords with them, and they'll be, like, super negative and nasty and, like, we all get like that sometimes and like sharing it privately is more appropriate than like publicly all the time but like it's one of those things where like it it's definitely all an act with some people where it's like oh i've learned that like if i'm really nice to people online they like give me more money or they're like nicer to me and they're like a little bit more into my content or whatever um ashley is one of those people there there's no mask what you get on stream, what you see of her interactions on social media and with people, that is literally her um, 100% of the time. And she was so fucking grateful. She wasn't like, oh, yo, I just got a stream. Like, I'm flexing. I just got a stream deck. And she was like, oh, my God, Brian, what the hell is wrong? Like, what happened? Like, she did basically what I am not allowed to do anymore that we got rid of with my therapy of, like, where I can't say, hey, you're not allowed to do that or, hey, you shouldn't have done that or whatever to you guys when you like give me like huge sub bombs or like big donos or whatever like you guys know I've, I've worked on that really hard through therapy it's been a very rough process and i slip back into it every now and then but she was like why did they do this i don't deserve this oh my god i feel so undeserving and like this is incredible i can't believe it and she was just scream spam keyboard smash texting me like all afternoon about it and i was like i was like almost in tears because i was like i love Ashley so much she's like one of my favorite people in the world and she does if there's anyone out there who deserves more of that spoiling it is her million billion percent love that so much that really warms my heart yeah it was so great literally our community vibes but to like the nth degree yeah both communities full of chaotic good gremlins I love it so much yeah if you if you like these streams if you like this community this atmosphere you will a hundred percent it will feel like a shoe that fits perfectly if you go over to Ashley's no feet puns intended with you know the heat stuff uh, it reminds me of that one post that's like, yeah, you can post about your positive vibes all the time, but are you actually kind to people? Right. Like, being mindful, you guys know, that's like the mantra here these days. Protect, you know, here's the thing. Uh, pursue your passions, protect your peace. That's, like, been my big motto recently, my big slogan. I told my therapist that on Wednesday, and she was like, I like that. She's like, you should, yeah, live by that. Like, you know, pursue your passions, protect your peace. Like, you're allowed to stand up for yourself and, like, be, you know, sad when sad or shitty things happen absolutely as long as you're making sure that it's uh you know within context with uh, as long as it's something that like has a reason for it behind it like sometimes we can't label it right away i'm not saying like you have to be like mr psychology all the time and totally understand exactly why things are happening i'm not, I'm not saying that about it at all um i'm it's more of we can't all be happy all the time, and that sucks, but, like, it's truly impossible to be that toxically positive all the time. So, it's one of those things where, like, yeah, you can you can be cozy publicly all you want, you can be comfy pu publicly all you want, um, or you can be the opposite all you want, but as long as you're treating people kindly, as long as you're being mindful, as long as you're doing your best, and we're all bound to slip up, and sometimes we'll have a misstep or have a weird take about some shit. That's just human nature. That's just how the fucking world works, you know? Um, that's okay. That is our right to do as long as you don't just go, well, I'm going to just, like, be content being, like, crappy. And I'm just going to always, like, treat people like dog shit. Um, you know? It, it, it's one of those things, like, as long as your next attempt is you actually attempting to make, make things right, make things better... Add your positive input in the world. Um, <laughs> pursue your passions, protect your heat. Oh my god. 
Good lord. Uh, we should just be the opposite and be the most toxic, shitty community ever behind the t behind the scenes. We're nice and loving. Honestly, that is kind of my sense of humor. I mean, I started making the uh, toxic or the um, the parasocial jokes here, so you guys got those already from me. Like being like, "Oh, parasocial! Let's get super parasocial here tonight, chat!" And like anyone who's new is probably like, "What the fuck? Who is encouraging parasocial behavior? That's super bad." Uh, that's not, I mean, we're kind of that already, so, um, or, like, I mean, even, even more simple than that, like, here's some, something that I had to really work through therapy on to get to a point where I've been comfortable enough with, like, setting boundaries and, like, being very, like, open about that and being direct with people and sometimes getting a little bit fucking sassy and, like, angry at, like, shit. Um, give me one second, chat, I have to check one thing. All right, cool. Um. Like, the other day, those of you who, uh, Thanksgiving, if you follow my alt account, I was kind of going off. I was getting really fucking angry about something because it was a weird, like, false narrative that someone was trying to push while, um, like, doing a lot of, I don't know, just, like, it, it was a lot of, like, information manipulation, like, emotional terrorism uh, about something that was, like, very innocuous and... It, they didn't even present it in a way where it was like, oh, like, you know, here's me being mindful of, like, your situation. It was, like, just a straight-up accuse... Uh, basically, what happened was I made a joke on my alt Twitter several days ago where I was like, once a year, we should launch one chronically online person into the sun from a cannon. Which, you know, obviously, we... Uh, that was me calling for the uh, genocide of chronically online people. Um, clearly. A very real technology that we have to launch people into the sun with. Um, and I, I was all for it. I was like, it's time to get rid of them all. <laughs> One at a time, once a year. Coming from a chronically online streamer, by the way. Um jokes in this economy well and, and here's the thing people are allowed to have issues with jokes i'm okay with that people are allowed to have issues with jokes but once you take something un fully understanding its context and acknowledge because this is what this person did was they fully acknowledge the context of the joke and they turned it into this like calling someone chronically online and then saying that you want to launch them into the sun is the equivalent of saying you wish them to be hate crimed and like murdered and killed so your community is not a safe space. And then they they started that narrative. And that didn't sit right with me. Um they they accused me of not knowing how dangerous that rhetoric is because there are some people get this one this is my favorite part of it. There are some people who do not have the ability to have a safe life when they're offline, as if I did not know that, being a POC who, I don't know, sometimes I walk into a store and someone calls me a slur for no reason. Uh, that's been my entire 37 years on this earth. Has been, hey, can I, I play with your ball on the playground? Punched in the face. Walking to go get groceries during COVID. Hey, you caused this bunch of slurs. I should kill you. In public. Um, it, it was very weird. It was a very, very weird uh, perversion of the situation. And it's one of those things where, like, hey, if they, they had wanted to talk to me about this in, like, a reasonable way, I would have been open to it. But they slammed the door in my face and said that we are not good people and that we uh, want people to die and that we're not a safe space for people who spend a majority of their time online, which is kind of weird since you have to be online to watch the streams. I don't know. It was it was very odd. Um, but I, I going all the way back to the original point, I'm not so ADHD tonight that I'm going to lose it. Um, I, I set a boundary. I, I went on a very angry rant on my alt account, and it's still up. You can go read it if you want, with my reasonings of as to why it made me fucking angry. How uh, much they made a lot of assumptions that also, as a marginalized POC, made me feel very diminished and shitty. And there's a difference between being able to acknowledge that and do that, um, where... 
Uh, it's just one of those things. Guys, another reminder, please, if there's, like, triggering shit <laughs> in the chat, I'm going to time it out. Uh, we don't need to make references to, like, specific slurs. We don't need to do, like, stuff like that. Like, we don't. We don't. Uh, please, please don't do that. Um, and also, just real quick here, not to diminish the pain that you went through. I'm so sorry you went through that. I'm so sorry someone called you that. Um, comparing what one marginalized group has experienced to what uh, POC has experienced in this country um, shows that you like the, please please read up a little bit I'm not gonna I'm not like mad at you but like please go like read up on what especially black people were saying during like BLM in 2020 a lot of really important topics as to why that's incredibly harmful and uh, how intersectionality needs to be examined a little bit better uh, by our country so just as a as a heads up um, yeah don't make references to like specific slurs and stuff in this chat please don't do that I hate iced coffee. Oh, so you're homophobic type of take? Yeah, that's that's kind of like, yeah, the energy. Exactly poisonous of what happened. But anyway, the point I was trying to make is someone someone labeled this community um, something that it wasn't. They created a false narrative, and I got angry, and I I put up my, my defenses a little bit. But that was okay. That was appropriate because that was not only me, like, being a little bit defensive about, like, what we've built over the years, but it, it was also me... Trying to put into context, like, you guys are incredibly mindful to each other. If you get called out for stuff, you go, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I'll do better. I'll learn. Next time we'll be better. Uh, if you guys uh, have see someone who's having a rough time, you lift each other up. You support each other. That kind of shit doesn't, it's, it's not something that, I know it feels like basic human baseline kindness and everything like that. Um, but you guys embody that all the time and it is not a given in every community and that is something that being on the internet for as long as i have uh it's glaringly apparent you guys are fucking awesome to each other you're super mindful to each other you are so 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 good at recognizing how to do better ways to implement it ways to you know just like incorporate that into who you are um so again like yeah, that, that's just sort of the point, is uh, we can make all the fucking jokes we want. We can say, like, weird, crude shit that we, we say in a plus 18 stream. But uh, at the end of the day, you guys are good people. You're nice to each other. You're mindful. You're kind. You're trying to make the world better, not worse. And that's, that's just not universal. That's not everywhere. So thanks for being that. Thanks for making that so easy. Um, for me to, like, brag about to other creators, like, over the years. Or, like, uh, whenever I've, like, gotten to, like, go be a guest at, like, a, a panel or a convention or whatever. I've, I've talked about, like, this community almost every single time I've done that. Kels, hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. Welcome, welcome. It's, uh, sadly hard in this world to find people who are like this community, truly. But this is a strong bond if you get the right kind of people. Absolutely. Doesn't... I mean, like, obviously, we're never going to be the biggest community on the internet, but uh, the people we got here are a goddamn great foundation for everything that we built up over the years. I find it very funny how you can say something incredibly hyperbolic like your tweet, and people will be like, OMFG, you can't say that because some people won't know you're joking. And, like, I absolutely understand and respect uh, the importance of tone indicators. I use them here often, but sometimes so painfully obvious a joke that it's like, all right, come on. Yeah, and yeah, I guess the other question I have is just as someone who's also, you know, on the neurodivergent threshold, um, even if that was something that I took seriously of like once a year we should launch a chronically online person into the sun, I wouldn't immediately liken that to genocide. Um, that was that was a weird leap. Or, or to like an unsafe community of like murderers, like we're openly murderers. Yeah, let's all murder everybody. You know, like that, that was a, a pretty big jump that i it's one of those moments where they found a way to go hey i didn't like this so i'm going to center myself in it uh, i i came into someone else's space to center myself to completely miss the intent and context of what this is because they even acknowledge oh i know it's a joke but here's why i personally don't like it and then create a false narrative 
That's just being a bad actor at that point. That is you being disingenuous. That is not you trying to advocate for people who don't have safe spaces anywhere but online. That is you actually doing the opposite. You went into someone else's safe space, tried to make it about you when it wasn't about you in the exact way that lined up with what you wanted. You created an unsafe, like, false narrative, which is very bizarre. So that was that was what sort of got my hackles up about it, was I was like, yeah, this doesn't even, from a logical standpoint, make any sort of sense. Um, and it's like, uh, it, it's just like, I don't know. It, it's, I, I hope that they go get help. I do. Like, not in a mean way at all. Like, when I say that, like, I gen- when I tell people, like, I hope, hope you get therapy, like, I genuinely, like, hope that they can afford that someday or explore it as an option or brave enough to take the leap to, like, call up someone and talk to someone. Because as someone in therapy, it's been very helpful. It's been wonderful. It's grounded me in ways that I didn't ever expect to be grounded. And I, I want that for more people. I want them to know their self-worth so that they don't have to constantly project and trauma dump onto other people in a way that hurts other people. Um, without ever actually taking mindfulness into account. So that's that's the end of that rant. So this person and I are going to have some words. Ah, they're taken care of. I think they like blocked me on Twitter or something already, so I, I do not care. Um, but in the moment, I did. And so that was a very long, <laughs> it's a very long ant- anecdote, but I, I also wanted to speak on that because... I know a lot of you follow my alt account on Twitter, and we're probably, like, still, even though I tried to add context, we're a little bit confused because I was just, like, uh, I'm, like, too too worked up to, like, I don't know, like, uh, talk about this in a way that's, like, super, like, straightforward. Oh, wait, the villains event is over. Shit. All right, I got to use my, uh, I got to use my, my tokens, my moon, my, uh, Halloween tokens. We got 30 to use, chat. So, uh, in my view, people being mad sometimes actually shows a good side of you, shows that you have values or morals and are caring about something. I, I like that. Yeah, no, that's, that's 100%. I mean, that's one of the big things my therapist and I are working on is I have such an aversion to feeling sad or angry um, because I was, like, taught growing up. Those were, like, bad emotions. Like, expressing them was bad. You got to keep those, like, buried, and that wasn't very, you know, healthy. Um, and... She was like, there's no such thing as, like, a bad emotion. Emotions are just emotions. It's how you express them that is what you need to adjust over time and figure out, like, when it's appropriate and when it's not and, like, which, you know, expressions are hurtful to others and which ones are healthy. Um, And it's not the emotion itself that's bad. I think that exactly 100% of your point, Bros. Pang, like, if you're angry about something, it shows you're passionate about something. It really does. It shows that you are willing to get worked up because, like, you feel something from that situation or, or person or thing or whatever. And I think that that's perfectly normal and fine. So, yeah. <laughs> you can launch me in the sun. I will ask no questions. We won't be doing that here. No. Um, I tried to speed through the villain path as much as possible. Yeah, I've, I forgot because I started playing, like, the battle passes for, like, a million other games. I got friends who are trying to get me back into Fortnite and stuff. It's rough out here as a gamer. I don't have enough time. Um, it sounds like it was done in very bad faith. Yeah, that was my big thing is it just felt like a bad faith self-centering thing. Um, where they thought they had some kind of point to make, but they didn't realize they were just sort of projecting their own, like, trauma or whatever onto other people in, like, a really unhealthy way. And I really do just hope that they go go get some help. Talk to someone professional. There's no shame in that. Um, it's, it's better to, like, you know, take a look at that in depth as to why, like, you behave that way. Not sure what their intentions were or how they felt, but I hope that they can uh, one day get to a point where they can learn not to lash out and be violent. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've started just blocking people for even the most mundane shit, like saying, I don't like Hawkeye. I think he's boring blocked. <laughs> like, I didn't want to see... I mean, it's here's the thing. Like, there's some people who are like, whoa, that's like really harsh standards or whatever. Um, but uh, do we only have tab three? Yeah, we only have up to tab three. I'm so sorry, Naray. Um, I kind of want the mass. Well, no, I, I really wanted the coffin. I'm so sad that I missed out on that. Maybe I'll just get like more moon stones for next time. Moonstone's in a spider web. No, Moonstone's in a bat. That would be kind of good. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, it's your experience. Yeah, it's like you said, Ecto. It's your experience. Social media, at the end of the day, 
by itself as a vessel is sort of meaningless. What you make of that experience is 100% up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do social media. If you're someone who's like, I don't want to see those opinions specifically. I don't care that people call this an echo chamber. First of all, it's not really an echo chamber because it's just one aspect of your life. Being on Twitter is not like the... If, if that's the only thing you define yourself by, then you're not looking at the other things that you do when you're logged off. Like, there, there's more to life than it, I promise you. And that's not saying, like, go out and touch grass type of thing. That's more of like a... You might not notice that there's these other experiences that you're having in life that are away from that particular platform or whatever. So, when you're on it, it's okay. Yeah, you, you know... Make it your thing. Make it comfortable for you. It's why we have mute and block buttons. It's why you're able to soft block people. It's why you're able to, like, reply to things. It's like, make it your experience as long, again, as you're being mindful. As long as you're being as kind as you can be or speaking up for the things that you believe in that are mindful. Like, that. that's just the long and short of it, right? So... They got someone out of my life about a year ago because they would only talk to me when they were sad or upset. Ah, yeah, I've been there. Um, always trauma dumped. I really hope that they're doing okay, but I just couldn't handle them anymore. And that's your choice to make. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, you cannot control other people's actions or words or interactions. All you can do is figure out how you react to them. Figure out what methods remove you from the situations where you might have a more negative reaction or one that's uh, more, you know, maybe defensive and less logical. Um, and also, in the same breath as me saying the word logical, let your, yourself be emotional in a healthy way. Feel those out. It is okay to feel sad. It is okay to feel angry sometimes. That's all right. That's all right to do, to feel those things. They're, they're hard-baked. They're hard-wired into us, you know? So... Freaking bats. I love Halloween. <laughs> Missed that update? I'm very excited. Yeah, it's so fun, right? Um, I don't know if someone mentioned it earlier in the stream before I got here, but you excited for the Toy Story update on this? Yes, okay. That's the update you're talking about, Yamanaka. Yes, yes. Very excited for Toy Story. Your personal space, your rules. Exactly. I get blocked by accounts I've literally never acted with, but that's not the end of the world. Right. It's like, well, I didn't know who this person was anyway, and I didn't have any interest in them, so who cares? Right? I've, I'm probably blocked by like a shit ton of people I've never even heard of in my life. And I'm okay with that because there's literally, uh, what, 8 billion people on the planet? You're not going to get along with every single one of them. That is uh, a fool's dream. That person doesn't need to go out and touch grass. They need to go out and touch the sun. Oh, no. No, not the sun jokes. <laughs> Uh, really love this slash these talks. A lot of people feel bad all the time that someone feels a way or has something that you can't fix. Love the mini wisdom drops, and it's a sweet and beautiful thing. I hope everyone knows they're loved and always has room to grow into their own beautiful selves. Exactly. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. My personal space, my personal sun. <laughs> so get launched. Oh, no. Not the sun jokes. Oh, my God. All right. Um... Hey, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some moonstones just because I mean even though you can farm these it's still good to have a bunch of them for the next event when I should probably actually buy the currency of the event and I like spider webs but bats are way cooler friggin bats I love Halloween <laughs> my partner Pokemon Gerbigli is about to evolve oh my god Chad I'm evolving in anime fangirls uh, Pokemon file amazing I hope that I turn out to be a beautiful butterfly I uh, I think you named, you named like, a your starter after me, right? Like a Sprigatito? I played Sprigatito. I've already evolved it all the way. I love it. Oh, my God. Wait. I was supposed to go back home and, like, drop crap off into my house. Too much crap in my pockets. Yes. Yeah. Sprig Squad. Let's go. Playing Plague Inc. Oh, my God. You were telling us that you were uh, starting that, Sarah. I'm glad that you ended up pulling the trigger and getting it. I hope that it's a lot of fun for you. So... Yeah, grass cat. Yeah, grass cat. Let's go, grass cat. Austin named the Pokemon? Really? That's so funny. <laughs> oh, wait. Name, oh, name the Pokemon Gerb Leaf. I didn't get it from the emotes. My brain stopped for I thought you meant uh, named Anime Fangirls Pokemon. My bad. Now I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's... <laughs> named, the, named his Pokemon Gerb Leaf? I'm going to have some words with that guy. Canadian Pride Cat. <laughs> How is that our longest running joke? It's just like weed jokes. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh my god. That's very, very funny. 
Um, well, I hope that Austin's real happy with his weed cat. <laughs> or wait, I don't even know. Wait, uh, did Austin start with weed cat or did Austin go with a different one? Weed jokes for weed streamer. God, the weed, weed yeah, number one weed streamer. <laughs> I'll name my starter Gerb Leaf. Oh, God. Did some good nicknames. Uh, Flam uh, Flamigo is named Grandma. Oh my god. It's time for Grandma. Freaking um, Mark Ribule. We jokes have run in this community for so long. When, th when they started, they were known as Pot Ch Oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Getting fucking roasted. Come on. Uh, like I'm a Thanksgiving side. Good lord. Flamigo should just be Flem. <laughs> Flem. That would be a hilarious name, honestly. Chat, I'm excited. If we do hit the sub goal and we uh, start a um, playthrough of Sims 4, uh, I was talking to Morgan about it on the couch today earlier, actually. But um, I, I, the names for the, the Sims that I make are going to be nuts. I, I might just start with one Sim in the beginning because I'm so bad at the game. You guys will see. I heard we have words. So I heard that you named a Pokemon um, after an emote here. Um, I hope that you know that's in uh, extreme violation of uh, naming rights. Uh, since you don't own the trademark on that. And that I have contacted my lawyers. So I hope that you're ready for that, you fool. <laughs> Uh, been lurking, carrying my friend in Fortnite. Oh my god. Honestly, the game's in such a fun place right now. I, I, my friends just also had me, like, freaking reinstall Fortnite, too. It's so funny. A lot of people getting back into it. It's a good season to get back into it. Uh, it's been months, and I'm still confused by Jordan making me a VIP for making a weed joke my first time in chat. Like, I'm honored. <laughs> Listen, Jordan has a very similar sense of humor as me, so I think that it just, it was natural for you, you know, right? So, our lawyers will be in touch with you soon as they're holding their console with their weed cat. Oh, God, that would be the way. Am I not included on that team? You're, 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 listen. You're a mod who has use of the emotes in my chat and other people's Twitch chats. But this is a whole different IP, you know? This is, a, Pokemon's like the Disney of, like, anime. Like, it, it, you're you're going down. The lawyers are ready. They were, Why am I looking at the same two chests over and over again? Chat, please. The freaking tryptophan from eating tons of delicious uh, Thanksgiving food is apparently, like, doing a number on me tonight. So, if I fall asleep on stream tonight, um, Ahmad, you, you get to change the category so that I don't get banned. You get to change the category to I'm just sleeping for me because I, I'm so tired tonight. So... Was it Chris who bullied you into reinstalling Borf Knight? No, it was not Chris. Although I gotta queue up with him because he's like cracked at that game. He's ridiculous. I'm unbelievably impressed by the shots that he hits because I'm not a super great uh, projectile like FPS player. And that whole game is all like uh, projectile. So I do better with like hit scan stuff, you know. Autopilot, yeah, it's kind of just, it's just a quiet, chill Black Friday stream. People are just, like, vibing out again. I know some of you work today, which <sighs> I salute you. Um, some of you, again, had to, like, deal with, like, weird family this weekend or might still be, you know, visiting folks out of town, whatever, having them visit you, whatever. Um, some unpleasant conversations or uncomfortable ones or whatever. Uh, totally understand that. Um, some of you are missing family at this time of year. Um that have been lost, that kind of thing. I, I get it. I do. So I, I I hope that we can provide, like, just a space tonight where people can just vibe and feel like themselves. I'll change the category to delayed sleep phase syndrome. <laughs> is, that, is that a category? <laughs> I feel like it could be. It might be. I mean, it's Twitch. <laughs> I was like, if there's anyone who's gently bullying someone into reinstalling Fortnite, feels like Chris Mel special. Chris, Chris doesn't, like, gently bully anyone. He's just like, hey, bro. Uh, if you want to queue up Fort, let me know. And that that's it. That's the only interaction you get from Chris Melberger. Thank heavens I'm off this weekend. I'm so glad that you are. I've had to work way too many Black Fridays in retail in my lifetime, and I just, it's not fun. I hope it's a category. I really hope that's a category, honestly. That'd be funny. 
I'm just passed out in my gamer chair. As a retail worker, I'm only lucky they somehow didn't schedule me for Black Friday. Dang, you dodged a bullet, that's for sure. My family hasn't even had Thanksgiving yet, actually. It was raining too much yesterday and today, so we put it off till Saturday. Hey, I hope that you have a good one. Um, were, were, raining too much, just like to travel, or was it raining too much, like to, were you guys doing like an outdoor one or something? Um, I personally, I, uh, you know, I, I understand, like, even if you have a good Thanksgiving, it's still like kind of tiring, you know, it's kind of tiring to socialize someone with a limited social battery myself, despite being pretty extroverted. Um, I totally get that. I understand how that is. So like, please, yeah, like if you need to like just lurk here and you're not chatting a lot, if you're just resting, if you're vibing, um, just know we appreciate you being here at all and that, that this community hopes that you have a good, good stream. I think they added something like that because streamers are doing the 24-plus hour streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they sleep while they're replaying VODs. Yep, that's a big thing that's going on right now. It's wild because when Twitch first came about, um, if you fell asleep on stream, uh, it was like... In <laughs> what is his little brother doing? He was doing like... He was hitting, he was hitting the gritty. Um, yeah, it was one of those things you could get banned for because it was encouraging unhealthy lifestyles. So... Uh, Moomoo is having zoomies? Um, and trying to chew your phone charger. Sig, this morning, uh, it was like 7 in the morning, woke me up because he was randomly having the zoomies. And then he jumped into bed, uh, this morning when I first got up. He looked me dead in the eye, meowed in my face. I was like, hey, buddy. And I was like petting him and he was like purring. And then he like looked straight at my phone cord and just went, <sighs> like as hard as he could. I don't know. He has this fascination with eating cords. I hate it. I haven't worked at Retail Black Friday since 2019, but I had to stop and get cat food today, so I ended up at the mall and such. Anyways, fortunately, after most of the crowds died down. Yeah, if you don't go during, like, peak rush hour, it's a lot more manageable for sure. So, yeah. Social battery is fine when I'm out in public, but if there are other people in my house, I start rapidly losing life force. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. Like, I'm, I'm great at, like, cons and, like, being surrounded by, like, the noise and the energy and stuff. And then as soon as I hit my hotel room, I'm like, I don't want to talk to anyone for, like, at least the next eight hours while I just sleep. Um, my family's annual part two of Thanksgiving, which is basically just a dessert night. Oh, that's fun. Happening sometime next week. We're making blackberry pie and my brother is making peppermint cheesecake. Those both sound so good. I'd give that a try. I've never had peppermint cheesecake, but it sounds like a good combo, honestly. Sweet Siggy, yeah. They can have a little cord as a treat. <laughs> uh, but on the plus side, I got Denny, her birthday present. Oh my God, the two of you are so cute together. That's so great. I'm, I'm sure she's going to love it. Uh, my dog passed out on top of my feet. I'm trapped here. Welcome to the rest of your life, Vintage. Hoots woke up to a dead mouse in the kitchen. No! Oh, no! But at least we know our cats can get mice. Uh, yeah, you're lucky because my... my boy will not he's so afraid of everything if there was a mouse in here he'd be afraid of it and be useless maybe like walk up to and sniff it and then he'd like run away at top speed because he'd be afraid i love sig so much but he's completely he doesn't even hunt bugs he's useless he'll eat one like now and then like maybe one out of every 100 that he sees though so i accidentally clicked the mod mode this ui still sucks so bad it's so bad it's really not great they made small tweaks to it that make it at least, like, a little bit user... Not user-friendly, like, UI-friendly, but, like, quality-of-life things that make your job a little bit easier. But, like, it's... Yeah, it's still not great. Only ever went out once on Black Friday to a store. I needed headphones and went to Best Buy. I didn't even realize it was Black Friday, so the staff member was like, you only want headphones, huh? I mean... It's one of those things where it's like, if it's all you need, it's all you need. Morgan and I went out in 2020, um... Because one of the targets nearby us, anytime we would go, it would be at like 11 at night. The store would be completely dead. It would be us and the staff in it, and that was it. And we found out that was the way to get groceries during the beginning of the pandemic. Um, so we went to this target on Black Friday uh, at like 10 at night. No one in the store. It was literally us and the staff. The staff looked super bored. Um, and I went and I bought uh, my electric toothbrush that I have for like... 15 bucks. It was awesome. Because it was originally like a $45 electric toothbrush. So it was really cool. Um, but I'm assuming with things like opening back up and people taking it less seriously and whatnot, unfortunately, about like, you know, some of the some of the stuff that I've already seen on social media of like what 
like huge groups of people are doing is a little bit worrisome, but it is what it is. It's the world we live in. Um, it's one of those things where like, I, I probably, like I didn't have any desire to go out today. Uh, my big thing has been Cyber Monday. I like I like the Cyber Monday deals. They're normally pretty good. But if you went out, I hope that you're safe. I hope that you got what you were looking for, and I hope that you didn't have to deal with anyone who was crappy, especially if you worked it. Um, <laughs> Sig is truly the little meow meow of all time. He really is. If we get a bug in the house, we both have cats and the dog trying to get it. Oh my god, Royal Rumble. My dog tries to eat bees, and I have to gently remind her that bees are friends, not food. Oh yeah, protect the bees. Uh. Cats are more chaotic than dogs? Uh, I, 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 it depends. I think that that goes, I, I don't think that either of them are more chaotic than the other. I think that they're just chaotic in different ways. Made the mistake of going out today. Uh, cons, so many people, perks, so many puppies. Mm, puppies are good. They do uh, make up for shitty people a lot of the time. <laughs> Flashbacks when mod view held me captive in a Photoshop like tutorial when I was first modded. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It, it used to be so much worse. Tried to zoom through so I could go back to chat and let everyone know I'm so alive. I'm so glad they don't do that to people anymore. Uh, every year, I don't know if Black Friday is the Friday after or before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's always the day right after Thanksgiving. So that's the easiest way to remember it. Um, so, yep. I don't care for shopping. I mean, hey, yeah. I, I'm not a... I, I'll retail therapy every now and then, but um, most of the time I'm okay with just hanging out with the stuff that I got. I'm, I'm so, again, like, huge reason that I'm not, like, rushing to buy the strawberry dress right now. Could I get it? Sure, I could get it right now. I absolutely could. But uh, I, I, it's like a big purchase. I got to think about that. Want to hear more tooth-rotting cuteness? Denny and I, oh, God, is this going to kill me? Denny and I are going to the tr uh, tree lighting in our town tomorrow night, and we might be going for food after two. She was worried about me coming all this way just to hang out for a couple hours, and I told her that I have no problem traveling to spend any amount of time with her. Gay! <laughs> it's so cute, though! I love that! That is adorable. That does give me a toothache. It's adorable. My boyfriend has two Great Danes fully grown. That is chaotic. <laughs> That is chaotic. Great Danes are huge. Uh, absolutely gigantic for sure. My dog uh, woke up. I'm free. Oh my gosh. But here's the question. Do you really want to be? Didn't you want more puppy time? Fallen, what's up? Hello. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Happy holidays to you as well. My favorite thing in Plague Inc. is seeing the map in red and then getting the notification of there's news of a minor disease spreading. Uh, that just felt like the news earlier this year, you know? Uh, my dog woke up. Oh, yeah, I read that. This is where my brain's at tonight, Chad. I'm very tired, so if I reread things or lose track of what I'm talking about, I mean, that's not that much different than what I normally do, but just know that I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to notice when I do it as much because I'm just, I, God, my brain is fried today. I don't want to be free. <laughs> Leave me in luxury. Oh, my gosh. Puppy time sounds good. But when you're trying to get up, when you're trying to do stuff, move around, get something done. Yeah, I get it. Like, Sig lays on my feet a lot. He lays on my legs. I need to brush my teeth, but my feet started getting overheated, so I'm safe now. That's so valid. Sig is like a um, living weighted blanket sometimes, like heated blanket sometimes, where he's just, he just, he weighs a million pounds, so you can't physically move your feet when he lays on your feet. And then he's just... He's so warm. He's like a very warm boy. Um, and then he does the thing where he starts purring really loud. You guys have heard his purring on Morgan's stream a lot. Um, so you feel like the rumble in like your legs or like your feet or whatever. So, yeah. My Pokemon partner, Gribiwi, has evolved into a Florigato. Yeah, Florigato is great. Wait until you see the next form if you haven't already. Uh, Alana, hey, what's up? Hello, hi. Hey, gamer. How you doing? I hope that you're having a good evening. I hope you're having a good weekend. Hello. Um, I was just talking to Ethan. I heard that you had had a good good uh, good weekend over at his place for Thanksgiving. Hanging out with some people. That's some good shit. I wish I was able to make it out for that. If you guys don't know uh, Alana there in the chat, Charlanzard, please go uh, give a follow. Incredibly, incredibly kind. Super talented. Mega nice person. Someone who's, like, given me a lot more grace and kindness than I, I probably deserve from someone who, uh, I don't know, is just always 
just encouraging and um, even when we're not directly interacting like your posts on social media either make me crack up or I'm just always like oh that's some like good advice it's like a good thing yeah so too nice nah no such thing thank you so much for dropping by here because how Luna is she's a giant space eater yeah yeah that's a that's probably a better description of Sig um, is he is just he is a large boy sorry Chad I'm checking something on my computer keep getting this pop-up that I thought would go away but it's not because computers because Windows um, did my recent Twitter post turkey sucks LOL <laughs> did it mean a lot to you oh it always does always does um, also all yeah all the all the replies to uh, uh, Raul Coley you know that kind of thing How's this game? I have a friend who worked on it and they treated the dev team really well. Really? That's so good to hear because obviously mega giant multi-billion dollar conglomerate company, you always get a little bit worried. Um, so anytime I hear, like, because I have a lot of friends who work in AAA and indie and, like, obviously the work experience is so different. Um, it, when it, I, I won't be, you know, someone who's going to lie to you about it when it first launched. Very buggy. Very, very buggy. But a very solid core, um, very similar to the Pokemon release, honestly, is probably the closest thing it reminds me of. Of The core gameplay, really the gameplay loop is really good. It's very fun. <laughs> I'll wait until this alert ends. Letting the um, go by sour PLS. Let the water hold me down. <laughs> sour PLS. Oh my god, the sour PLS. bliss. Uh, Brezpang, 26 months here. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We played a bit of Boyfriend Dungy. And I realize I'm literally Isaac. God, Isaac's such a good character. And Justice Washington, I say it every time he's mentioned, Justice Washington has such a fucking good voice. It's so good, dude. I love his portrayal of Isaac in that game. It's like listening to Honey. Like, his voice is so good. So, so good. Super talented voice actor. Super funny guy also. Um, if you guys don't know him, he goes by Sagi VA on, on Twitter. Um, but anyway, I... Uh, I, I can rarely speak for the one person, but they never crunched or anything. That's wonderful to hear because obviously crunch is such a, a hot button thing right now or all the time, I guess. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm 37. It's been something we've talked about for like decades at this point. Um, I doubt Pokemon gets fixed. Interesting. See, I, I'm hoping that it does um, just because they did patch Sword Shield like here and that. Now, it wasn't great, but you know, they... They did some of it, but they also released an inherently less broken product with Sword Shield. This game, because it's like the best-selling Nintendo title, or like, yeah, best-selling Nintendo title of all time, right? It sold like 10 bajillion copies within the first three days. Like the highest-selling game of Nintendo's history, which is wild. Kia, welcome back! Good to see that your internet's better now. Amanda, get some good rest. Thank you so much for dropping by. I know it's late. I know people are tired. It, I started at freaking 11... Like 15 p.m. Eastern time here tonight. I, I got distracted. I, I had to listen to my voice in a in a new game. You know, it was cra that was crazy to hear myself in a, another role. Honestly, I don't. I just I don't know. I don't. I don't see myself as like an accomplished voice actor yet. I I gotta build the poor. I want a visual reel. I want to get enough roles where I have like a really solid, cool visual reel. Um. Anyway, what was I talking about? Sorry, uh, Alana. If you're waiting for an answer on this, this is just the ADHD that's constantly rushing through my bloodstream. Um, I, I think that this game, uh, had a really great core at launch that was surrounded by a bunch of bugs that turned off people way too quickly before they gave it a real chance. At this point, I, I put a lot of hours into this game. It's one of my just chill on the couch on my Steam Deck comfort games. Um, it's good. The, the, the patches are, they're coming quick. They're coming hot. They're coming fast. Um, they're adding more content. The social media team's super transparent about, like, what their plans are. It's going free-to-play, obviously, very soon here, which is going to be fantastic for the health of the player base, I think. Um, I like it a lot if you're a fan of the sort of infinite gameplay loops of Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing and have a little bit of nostalgia for, like, any Disney IPs. I think that this, this is the greatest way to honor fans of that. Uh, it... You know, it's a little bit of a baby game, but I never feel like it's disrespecting me as a player, if that makes sense. Uh, I think I hope it's fine to share, kind of hesitant to bring up hobbies so that my brain doesn't go, oh, you finished the thing, no more interest. But I'm trying to learn some languages and programming languages. Oh my god, yeah, programming languages are just foreign languages, straight up. 
I feel like an absolute clown getting excited over reading simple words, but it's kind of fun. No, I love that. That's so cool. Made me realize how absolutely not ADHD friendly learning videos and tutorials are such a slog. Yeah, agreed with you um, 100% on that stuff. I mean, there's a reason that we pay for courses. Uh, and, you know, obviously you shouldn't pay money for everything out there. I think knowledge is one of those things that um, it has its place as a, uh, you know, pay for commodity in society but also i like the idea of free knowledge and not gatekeeping stuff so there's a balance to it um language is one of those things that it's so rough if you don't find someone who already has sort of like a background in teaching because the way that they learn language is obviously going to be so much different than the way that you are learning it and that makes things like when i'm like oh yeah i use duolingo and people will be like i tried duolingo and it just was not for me i'm like I get that. Totally get that. For me, because it's like a video game format, I have a blast with Duolingo. And I sit down and I do my language lesson every day. And it's fun to learn. Um, but yeah, I, I get that. It's it's kind of rough. Yeah, it's it's kind of rough out there. I hope that you're able to find out what works for you the best. Uh, Roxy Jar, hello. You know you never have to apologize if you're late here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I heard that Wednesday was a fun, fun show. I got to check it out. Why are the gloves posed like that? I don't know, but it is a little bit like JRPG, like, uh, like near series creepy, right? Yeah, why wouldn't they just be two regular hands? And just like a hand model style versus like Gre Grecian uh, interpretation of dance. I don't even know what's happening here. Uh, I love uh, FOSS resources and all, uh, even just digital resources in general, but honestly it does sound nice to have in-person language classes yeah yeah maybe something to save up for yeah that would be super enriching i think i think that would be a cool thing um some 3d modeler wanted to flex maybe yeah i think that this is like hey you guys always complain about doing hands look at what i can do <laughs> ldd made it a doll of wednesday and i'm hoping to be able to get it it looks so good cool that's so cool i love that i love when like there's merch like that for things i don't know what the point is but it's sick <laughs> Yes, I love Wednesday. I binged through the whole show the same day it came out. So many people did. Morgan and I have been lucky in that we've avoided spoilers for it, but I do want to check it out. Uh, Wednesday TV show is wonderful and has solidified my autism self-diagnosis. It's a long story. I mean, hey, if it's something that made you feel a certain way and you're like, I see myself in a certain way now, no shame in that. Doesn't really matter the label you put on it either, right? It's just one of those things where it's like, I understand me better. There's nothing negative about that. First time I translated a word or sentence uh, in another language out in the wild was a truly wonderful moment. I felt accomplished. Hell yeah. That's good to feel accomplished about stuff like that. So we got jeweled gloves. I've been staring at this for 10 minutes. I'm sorry, Chad. You guys know how it is here. I don't know if I want those. Well, how should, what are these? These are like dragon crocs. <laughs> it's like, hey, are you a fan of Game of Thrones and you love crocs? Here you guys go. Um... I thought I had ones that are, were similar to this, so... I don't know if I want that. Oh, skirt. I didn't even see this. Skirt! Skirt, skirt! Red jean skirt. Oh, God, it's a denim skirt. I could get a denim jacket and Canadian tuxedo it up. Look at that. That looks cute. That'd be good to dress up. I like it. Cardigan. It is getting cold. Maybe I'll get some cozy clothes. I can be a... A comfy streamer. Thank you kindly. The uh, gla uh, mug of tea and um, cozy Animal Crossing game streamer. With that, <laughs> not the jerk. <laughs> the jerk. <laughs> oh god. Every time um, I see jorts, like <laughs> like actual jorts in in a store, because like Target's like big thing is they're like cycling through like old fashion from like twenty like the two thousands and like. Starting to get into the 2010s already because we're trend cycling so fast. Um, I'm just like, oh no, not not the jorts. I would wear a, a pair of Drox Dragon Crocs. Jert Beagley, God. Remember when chat was like mad that I didn't like skorts? Even though that, I think that was the first time I ever did like a girl Beagley cosplay on stream. It was like that really bad wig. It was like a thrifted outfit that like just didn't fit me that well and like the skirt that I had was a was a a skirt that I was like I don't really like skirts. I don't like having shorts under my skirt. 
That was a this was a long time ago now, it feels like, and look at where we've gone. Now the cosplays are so different now. Um, so yeah. Jorts are different, they're my favorite. Wait, jorts are jorts are your favorite? Alright. Three three top reasons why jorts are your favorite. Go. Made a six and a half minute Squirts apology video in stream. <laughs> I did. The YouTube apology, look up at the camera and sigh real loud. The Scorts discourse. Yeah, I think I like turned off the background music for it too. I was like, <sighs> I didn't want to have to make this video. But as many of you know, <laughs> it, was, it was to a T, dot by dot. Baby Bear, hello. Jorts are so uncomfortable. Thank you. <laughs> you diss the score and then flash yourself. I call karma. Yeah, okay, sure, true, that if I had been wearing a skort during the cat girl stream, I wouldn't have flashed chat. Um, but, let's turn that around. Flash, you never would have gotten uh, anime girl flashed. Chat, you, you never would have gotten anime girl flashed if I had been wearing a skort. Ever think about that one? Huh? You would have been deprived of that experience. Most of the skorts I've tried- Hey, what's up, Pineapple Warlord? Um, the skirt didn't fit right. I always wear shorts under my skirts, but I use separate, uh, shorts. That's an intro. I mean, that's a, that's a valid way to do it. What am I doing? But chat, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I didn't, I didn't look at my missions. I've just been wandering around occasionally clicking, like, one thing in this game. Oh my god. Magical Matto, what's up? Hello! Be fair, skirts are very different from wearing a pair of bike shorts under your skirt. I feel more mobile in a skirt with bike shorts underneath than I do in a skirt. Maybe that's something maybe that's something I'll try, you know? Maybe that's something I will try. The shorts material is always so uncomfortable for too long, so I just put my own shorts underneath. Okay. So the combo pre-made skorts, you are agreeing with me, chat, which you gave me shit for a couple years ago, are uncomfortable. Hmm. How the turns have tabled. Hmm. So I was right. But you guys just had an alternative as to how to do it better, which is not a true skort, in my opinion. Uh, that's not the real definition of a skort, because you custom-made a short skirt combo. Hmm. Yo, thanks for the sub-bomb after skort discourse on Twitch. Something, something, Victorian child exploding. <laughs> Truly, though, that would happen. Their mind would bleed out of their nose immediately. I have to wear skorts because there's not a single uh, ounce of grace in my body, so I will fall and accidentally flash people. So either skirt plus my own shorts or skorts. Well, again, like, yeah, yeah, you're doing a skirt and your short combo. That's that's valid. That's fine. How the skorts have skirted. Did you buy strawberry dress? I did not. I was just discussing that with chat about how it's like I want to, I could, but it's still 350 bucks right now. It's not a true half off deal. So, I, I don't know. That's like asking a lot. I wasn't here a couple years ago, so I claim innocence. <laughs> I enjoyed the... Well, yeah, you're, you're exempt then. I enjoyed the true squirts as a child, but it's been a while, to be fair. Okay, I mean, that's fair. That's valid. Foggy memories and whatnot. Maybe some rose-tinted glasses. I wasn't here a couple years ago to disagree with you. I could have defended your honor. Oh my god, all the, all of the people who were supposed to be there for that! During the very first Girl Beagle cosplay and the, like, really ugly sweater skirt combo with the bad wig. And Morgan doing makeup on me for the first time. Yeah, like... Oh, man. What level are you? Uh, I think, like, 20? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't keep track of it. I'm too ADHD. I just play the game to play it. I'm doing some stuff, though. I, mean, I should probably, like, load up an actual quiz or uh, quest to do. Uh, explore the island. See if it's inhabited. You, um... She wants her to return to Dreamlight Valley, but she needs some way to break the spell. Place Ariel Sea Castle in the water near Dazzle Beach. Okay, let's do this one. Let's get Ariel going here. Yeah. I just got the game. I like it a lot. It's great. It's super fun. I'm glad that you're having a good time with it. Uh, welcome, by the way, FD, uh, BG. Oh, boy. I, I don't know. What, what would you like us to call you? I'll do my best to remember. I wasn't here for that either. Hey, what's up, Elfie? Welcome. Well, now, now you all know the, uh, the witch hunt that I had to survive, chat, 
without the current members of chat there to defend my honor. Some of the members who are still here attacked me for my take on Squirts. Just to let you know. You know? Just call me Trey D. That's pretty... Okay, that's at the end of your username. That's easy to remember. Thank you for letting me know, Trey D. The oppression of the squirtless. Yeah. Except I wasn't squirtless. I was wearing a squirt, but it just... It didn't... I didn't like it. Uh, to be fair, I think I sided with you back then that skirt plus shorts is better for decency, but squirts often aren't comfy or well fit. Yeah, so if you do if you do a DIY squirt where your own shorts and your own skirt, totally valid. To you're, you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Uh, wonderful choices in your life that you're making. Um, if you're someone who... If you're if you're someone who enjoys the pre-made ones, that more for you cuz clearly I'm I'm not into it and a lot of other members of chat aren't as into it. But just know I raise an I raise an eyebrow at you a little bit. So when I was a kid I loved squirts cuz I was amazed at the combination. You know, to be fair as a gimmick, they're kind of cool. I will give them that. It's a neat idea that someone was like, "You know what? I'm I'm kind of Sick of, like, weirdos trying to look up my skirt or me having wardrobe malfunctions or whatever. I get that. Totally valid. That skirts are, like, a nice protection against that sort of uncertainty and whatever. But it doesn't mean I gotta like them, personally. <laughs> skirts are my childhood. Much respect. But now I uh, have a skirt with the bike shorts underneath if I want that. Maybe I gotta buy a pair of bike shorts. I always make fun of Morgan because she owns a ton of bike shorts. And I just remind her of the modern family joke where it's like, um, I, God, I forgot the, the, the couple, the Mitch and, um, God, I forgot the other guy's names. His, but his partner is always wearing bike shorts. Cam, thank you, Morgan. There she is. She heard, she was summoned. If you don't know my beautiful, wonderful, incredible partner, Morgan, Treasure X Trove there in chat, please give her a follow. Support her. I won't even be able to dress up as cute as I do for uh, Femme Fridays without her. By the way, again, those of you who are late here who are like, oh shit, Femme Friday, if you didn't read the title of the stream, I was a little bit tired tonight, so unfortunately, uh, Femme Friday was moved to Sunday this weekend. So hopefully we'll be able to get to it Sunday. So I hope I'll see y'all there. So it'll be a selfish Sunday slash cosplay stream and then I heard you talking about bike shorts so you got me yeah I, I was telling chat that I always remind you of the scene from Modern Family whenever you, you're like bike shorts are great and I'm like bike shorts <laughs> um, they're a bit expensive but I highly recommend uh, Airy American Eagle bike shorts really okay thank you for the suggestion maybe I'll go check some of those out um, <laughs> Femme for Sunday yeah we're doing Femme for Sunday this week um, and then, uh, Morgan and I, I might, like, open Pokemon cards as well, which would be kind of fun. Senora Sunday? I kind of like that one. Wear bike shorts and bike, uh, I wore shorts and bike shorts as a kid in the 90s. I mean, that's a very 90s thing. My issue with skorts is similar to my issue with rompers is that they're made to fit a specific body shape. Maybe that's what it is for me, because I'm, like, you know, kind of blocky. It's hard to find stuff that, like, fits me. That makes me feel, like, femme enough while also, like, fitting me right, you know? So, but, oh, that's something I, I forgot. That's something I got to add to the P.O. Box command is um, I finally, you know, if people, people have asked a number of times if they can just send me stuff for cosplay instead of waiting for me to update the throne. Um, so I got to update it that I am men's size small, women's size large on that. So, Spanish English title it was. <laughs> Dude, rompers are cute, but also from hell. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Workout skirts are, are skirts are the only skirts I approve of. Okay, okay. Um, sassy Sundays, yeah. I mean that that works too. I wear bike shorts as part of my swimwear because the material is usually the right kind for swimming in. Oh yeah, it's basically the same material, right? Wait, what am I doing? I had the sale menu up and I didn't even sell the th things I wanted to sell. Sure, I'll get rid of all that. Uh, I think I have enough of those, too. All right, where the hell do I have to go in Dazzle Beach to get this done? My swimwear is a bike short... Oh, wait. Bike shorts plus skirt plus shirt combo. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that sounds like that matches. That sounds like that fits. 
I said go to Dazzle Beach for this. Well, this is Dazzle Beach. What part of Dazzle Beach? Do I need to... Huh? Uh, place Ariel's Castle in the water near Dazzle Beach. Can I... Oh, that's right. I have to go into the st structures. Whoa! Okay. Holy shit. So I can, I can put it there? That good? I think that's cool. I think that's cool there. Yeah, no, this is cool. This is good. Yeah, no, this is good. It's right by the the merchant then. And then I can just uh, warp to the well over there to get to her. Hey, that's great. That's very good. Take me to Dazzle Beach. That'd be fun. I want to go. Thunder thighs make for shopping for cute skirts and uh, penophores or shorts of pain. Yeah, my, my body type. You know, I, I wear the types of clothing that I do because it's obviously me experimenting with my fashion and trying to figure out what what's the most flattering on me. Place her whole ass house, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. 5,000? Okay. Here we go. Ariel's joining our, uh, our island chat. Finally. Shininess of the butterfly wings on your character, it makes me really nostalgic for 90s and 2000s toys. Yeah, it does kind of have that, like, um, that, like, hard plastic or, like, aluminum thin metal sort of, uh, aesthetic that was on a lot of, like, old 90s and 2000s toys. Absolutely. I get what you're talking about, because, um, I had a Beast Wars Transformers toy, uh, that was a bug that had wings that had sort of those... Um, that, that, like, textured sort of, yeah, like the, the, the grooves and everything. Not me crying at Ariel joining. Oh, Mor Morgan's favorite, uh, movie is Little Mermaid, and Ariel's her favorite character. My fairy Topia Barbie. Yeah, fairy Topia. Yeah, a lot of those have them, too. Oh, my God, she's in the wells. This is actually really funny. All right. Selfie time. I forgot how to take a selfie. Fuck. I've been playing on my Steam Deck too much. There it is. Yeah, that's cute. She looked, she was kind of fucking possessed. Beast Wars was my my beloved. I love that show. That was one of my favorite shows of all time, Fizzy Ferret. Not the drinking water, please. Yeah, she poisoned the well. It's going to taste like fish butt now. I don't have my glasses on, so I thought the wel Welcome Ariel was in Comic Sans. Disney too cheap to spend it on real fonts. They, they buy comic they use stock Comic Sans. The very harshly sculpted plastic. Yeah, exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about, Macquarie. Mildly demonic expression. Yep. Yeah, we're cute. We're besties now. The lighting on Ariel, yeah. The rat and the cheetah were my favorite. Yes, Cheetor! Let's go, Cheetor. I was always a Star Scream fan. Um... Especially in, like, the original, like, they had that whole story arc from the 80s, 90s cartoon where he, like, goes good for a bit. And I was always like, oh, that's so cool that, like, a bad guy can go good. Made me fall in love with the, like, you know, uh, like, enemies to lovers trope. OMFG Cheetor. Yeah, Cheetor, one of the OGs. She's the somebody who poisoned the water hole. Yeah, oh my god, Woody's gonna be so mad when they add the Toy Story stuff soon. We talking Transformers? Yeah, I guess so. A little bit of Beast Wars. But I fucking loved... I loved uh, Starscream in the original cartoon series from back in the day. The, like, Japanese-made, like, anime-style one. Because um, he goes good for a bit. And I remember, as a kid, being so devastated when he went back um, be to, like, you know, Megatron. Slash Galvatron. He was like, oh, Megatron! You know, I... I I serve you! I was being a double agent! And he, wa like, wasn't really, and he was, like... It showed him being, like, really fucking sad that he, like, went back to his, like, true master or whatever, because he just, like... I don't... I can't even remember the reasoning. I haven't watched him in so long. I think he was, like, being rejected by the Autobots. Like, they didn't trust him enough, so he, like... was like the bullied kid, feeling, like, sad. He was like, I guess I'll go back to my, like, old shitty friend group now. And I remember, like, relating to that a lot as a kid and being like, this show is about robots and it's like destroying my soul falcon what's up hey good to see you here welcome welcome 
Did you see my post I sent you? Um, you'll have to be a little bit more specific uh, than that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I did? I don't know. Hello, Nico. Welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, that was, it's one of those things where like, I'm out of energy. No, I'm not. I'm going to eat five billion bananas right now. Um, I don't know. That was like a deep, like, whoa, glass shattering moment for me. I remember as a kid being like, whoa, bad guys can become good guys sometimes. And it made me honestly, as silly as it is, think of human beings a little bit differently of... Yeah, there's, like, good people who make, like, bad decisions, and there's, like, bad people who, like, come across as good sometimes, and, like, we're all, like, a little bit more nuanced. Obviously, I didn't think of it that deeply when I was a kid, but it was the the start of that sort of mindset of, like, nuance exists and, like, context exists. But I fucking... Oh, man. Beast Wars. When they when they dropped Beast Wars on Toonami, and you had Toonami Tom being, like... I... Uh, Editing photo of you holding a box standing in a Japanese castle. I don't think I did. Where did you post it? Uh, we are all gray. Yeah, we are all gray. No matter how well you think of yourself or how poorly you think of yourself, we are all gray. I was going to sleep, but my cat's uh, decided he wants attention right now, so I guess I'm staying up for a bit. Well, thank you so much for being good company. I hope that kitty's doing well also. Uh, it was on Twitter? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I saw it. Sorry. Um, I can... After stream, maybe look for it again. Uh, I have been spending a little bit less time on Twitter these days. Even though I've been posting more. I don't actually sit on the app for as long anymore. We're all gray without the... <laughs> so true. Beast Wars was my fa first experience in the Transformers franchise. I really recommend going back and watching the old stuff if you haven't already. Um, but, like... Beast Wars is a great entry point. You had a great experience for your, like, debut to Transformers. Beast Wars was so good. It was nuanced. The characters were complex. The storylines had, like, real stakes involved. Like, people, like, some of the Transformers, like, fucking died, dude. Like, I I loved that show. And to hear, I would never get more hype than hearing Toonami Tom go, The Autobots are back at it again. Let's see if Optimus Primal can take down Megatron and the evil uh, Decepticons. Or what, what did they call them in the in that show? I forgot. It wasn't Autobots and Decepticons anymore. It was, um, shit, it was something else. But I, I fucking love that show. I would get so hyped when Toonami Tom would come on. Anytime he was like, Goku and the rest are in the world tournament. Like, I, I loved that. Toonami Tom, that's one of the best, one of the best, like, Steve Bloom voice characters ever. Hive has been a really nice change of scenery. Yeah, I I like Hive. I'm on Hive, by the way. If you guys just look up Gerbeagly on Hive, you can follow me there if you want to. I don't know if I'm going to be using it very much, if I'm going to be honest, um, just because it is a Twitter clone, and it is way nicer, but it is <laughs> the evil little guys. Yeah, that was the name of them, the evil little guys. Um, But, uh, Predacons, is that what it was? Okay, so the bad guys were the Predacons? Who were the good guys then? Uh, I don't remember. Um, what were the Autobots called in that scenario? It's something They had, like, fun, like, animal names and everything. And I like that they had a lot of the familiar characters, but they, like, gave them slight variations of some of the names. Um, ah, God, that fucking show. I'm going to rewatch that. I'm going to start rewatching that tonight after stream now. I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a website that has that on it and watch it. That can't, oh, man, I fucking love that show. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, no, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Bloom, Toonami Tom, it, God, I, I remember being, like, the stereotypical, like, I'm doubling down on, like, toxic masculinity, because I'm, like, a, uh, 13-year-old boy, and, uh, being, like, like, oh, only girls watch Sailor Moon, or I, I had to have been, like, younger than that, even, I was probably, like, 10, or whatever, I didn't want to, like, get made fun of by my friends, you're going to go on a totally legal website to watch Beast Wars. Yes, 100 million. Listen, it's against TOS for me to promote piracy or any illegal activity. So you guys know after the stream, I'm going on a completely legal website to watch Beast Wars. Legal. Because I follow TOS here. <laughs> and also, I've been to Twitch jail before. I can't go back. They can't throw me back in the slammer. Literally haven't been able to follow anyone over on Hive because it's still not the greatest performing app. Yeah, that's the other part of it is it's like 
the small, very small dev team and the app crashes all the time. I'm so happy for the people who are having a really positive experience over there, having a lot of fun with it. It seems like from my early impressions of it, like a very good alternative to Twitter. But it's one of those things where I'm like, I, I'm vibing, you know, I'm keeping an eye on what's happening on Twitter. I'm keeping an eye on what's happening on Hive, but the less that I'm on social media, the more I can do like what I did today, where I put out a YouTube video. By the way, if you came here late, put out a new YouTube video. Use the YouTube command if you want to go to the newest one. Check it out. Um, but I can put out a YouTube video and stream if I want. That's cool. You know? Hive is cute. Hive is very cute. Um, so, like, I, I really like... Uh, I, I really, really, really like the the layout and the idea behind it. I, I like that they've been openly like, we will not tolerate hate groups here. Um, you know, this is a place that's, that is a safe space in the purest form of the word of like, we are going to monitor and take this very seriously. Um, you know, I, I like the principles behind what it is. It's just, a, you know. I'm not, like, super big on, like, filling more of my day than it is already taken up by social media. I have, like, everything. I got Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr now again, um, Twitter, everything. You know, I, I like Hive. I think it's cute. Um, I definitely have one that you guys can follow. Who knows? Maybe I will start posting over there one of these days. But uh, you might as well follow just in case I do. Um, so, yeah, you can look up Gerbigly for, for that. Um... What were the good beasts called? Yeah, I still can't think of the name of the good Beast Wars Transformers. Hive takes a bit uh, to load for me. Sometimes it doesn't register that I like the post. My big thing, it's been sending me double notifications. So anytime someone follows me or like likes a post, I get like, like two times. Um, doesn't register that I like the post. And if I tap multiple times, it ends up accidentally liking and unliking. Maybe that's what's happening. Is people like spamming the buttons or their servers not being able to keep up with like the refresh rate of... Like the app or something. I'm, I'm curious. I want to see where it goes. I'm That's definitely not like preying on its downfall or anything. Not a ton of people followed me over there, which is totally understandable. It is it is a headache to try to keep up with like, oh, we're going to Mastodon. No, now we're going to Hive. Now we're going to whatever. And there's like so fucking much to that um, that is like hard to keep track of. So I get it when you're like, I'm, I'm too tired. I don't want to make another account on another website. Totally understand that. That's that's fine. But um, I think Hive, if there's going to be an alternative that I use, probably going to be Hive. So, um, what are you doing from the game? Um, wait, what? What? You You don't? Wait, what? Uh, if you're asking what I'm doing in the game currently, uh, I am I just added Ariel to the island. So, we're going to be vibing with her a bit, getting to know her. I like Hive. It's cute. Yeah, Morgan's on Hive too. Go check her out. She's definitely going to be posting... More than I will here in the beginning. Um, but again, like if you want to be an early adopter, uh, feel free to check it out and, and give me a follow or whatever. I'd, I might use it. So, what you dislike from the game? What do I dislike from the game? Um, I don't know, really. Uh, it's an early access title, so I've been very, uh, very chill about it. I'm not like freaked out that there's like people who have already gotten through all the content and stuff in it because i'm playing it at my own pace and i've had plenty of fun with it and i know that at the end of the day they're going to be not the end of the day but at the yeah uh, the end of whatever dev cycle they're in they're going to be adding a lot more stuff so I, I really don't have too many complaints about it right now there's a couple like maybe ui things about it that are a little bit clunky um that aren't like super user friendly right off the bat but since i put enough hours into it i've been having a, a good time with it it's pretty fairly, like, fairly easy to get used to. So tired of signing up for social media accounts. I want to see birds and walk in a park again. <laughs> I want to escape the, the content basement that I've trapped myself in forever. Um, I like Hive. I'm just trying to be patient with it because I know it's a small dev team. Right, and they have over a million users already on it. So I'm definitely giving them the benefit of the doubt of their, they got their hands tied, they're doing their best, and they'll hopefully make it into something that feels like home for a lot of people, you know? I was so cute, but my friends haven't moved over anywhere. Yeah, the other thing I don't like about it is, um, uh, because, because, um, there's not, like, a way to, like, filter some things about it. Like, I, I only have, like, a couple hundred followers over there because I haven't been, like, aggressively pushing that I'm over there like some of the people that are there. So, like, some of my friends have, like, thousands of followers again already on it. 
And I'm at, like, I think, like, 260 or something, because I think I've mentioned it now three times. Um, but it's one of those things where, like, I, I'm having a hard time conceptualizing how I'm going to find all of my mutuals from Twitter who have joined it and figuring out when they decide to join, because some of them haven't and some of them probably won't. Um, like, how to follow back all those mutuals and how to find them all and, like, how to poke them and be like... Hey, you know, I, 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 let's follow each other again, because I like you. I like your energy. Um, that, that's a bit of a daunting task in my brain. Uh, it makes me feel tired and old. So, again, it's one of those things where, like, I'm not going down with the ship on Twitter. Like, obviously, I'm still posting there. It's still a tool that I will be using to communicate with people and let you guys know what I'm up to. Like, I made a, a post about my YouTube video. I made a post about Femme Friday being moved to Sunday. That kind of thing. But, um, it's one of those things where, like, if Twitter goes down, I might just take a little bit of a social media hiatus just to, to vibe in my own time. To be like, okay, that's sad. I have a lot of good memories from using Twitter and interactions with the community and stuff. But, like, but like I, it's time for me a little bit. So, just created a Hive account followed you. Thank you. That's nice of you. Thank you, Yamanaka. Haven't been able to add music. Yeah, apparently, so that's not working. Like, you can add the song, but it just won't play yet. Um, I think part of it is tied up in the development of them adding Spotify, besides just Apple Music as a uh, song selector. Which I think is great. I was all excited, because I was like, I'm going to be different. I'm going to make it like an emo MySpace page, where I add, um, I really want to stay at your house from uh, the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 anime, Edge Runners. Because I was like, that, that song lives in my brain rent-free and makes me depressed all the time when I think about that scene. Um, but, uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it, it, it didn't play and I was like, oh, uh, it, that sucks. Wait until that feature works, it'll, I'll be insufferable. Oh my god, you and I are gonna just be like, reliving our scene days. Hey, excuse me. Uh-oh, here's a glitch. I don't know when the last time the game saved, but I think that this might have just frozen us. Um, my menu behind the, uh, the picture piece closed, but, uh, the picture piece didn't close. That happens. This is the first time it's ever happened to me. Oh, no. D do I have to hard reset? Harrow poisoned the game. Yeah, apparently. I mean, she's here again. She's just leaving a trail of breadcrumbs of her crimes. Maybe this is their artistic direction. It's a fourth wall metagame. <laughs> it hurt us talking about Ariel poisoning the town well. Oh my gosh. Um, hey, Fallen, that's wonderful to hear. I'm so glad to hear that that's going well. Things are looking healthy for you. You just didn't know it. Uh, it is when it turns into a horror game. Oh god, I don't want to... I'm sorry again I didn't play a lot of horror games around Halloween. I'll, I'll play them... You guys know I'll get back to horror games. Oh, we gotta get back to Fatal Frame. We're playing Fatal Frame Made into Blackwater. We gotta do that again. Something in the vibe of MySpace or Live Journal was recreated. I would be very into that. Oh gosh. This is like if Instagram and Twitter had a baby and you can play MySpace music on it. <laughs> Mickey might have killed Minnie, but Ariel is gonna kill us. Oh god. Everyone in this town has their own murderer. Ah shit, I gotta force quit, huh? I don't know when the last time the game autosaved was. Shit. That sucks. I hope I don't lose too much progress. I guess I was just kind of running around and just <laughs> not really making much progress, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Ah, oh, man. We'll see. We'll see here in a second. That's just a bummer. I don't like force quitting games. It, it, there's like this old school boomer mentality about it. It's like um, when you used to have to like reset the Nintendo because the intent like the NES cartridge. Uh, like, the game, like, froze and glitched. And then you had to, like, pop the cartridge, like, turn off. You had to do it in a certain order. You had to, like, turn off, the, like, hit reset, hit the power button, and then pop out the cartridge and pull it out gently. And that was, like, the best way to preserve, like, the disc in the game cartridge. And, like, I would get, like, so, oh, no, I'm going to break it. Like, as a kid, I was, like, so afraid to do that. Um, that's the way that I feel when I, like, alt can alt control delete a game now. Nightmare Before Christmas horror game streams, mayhaps? 
Are there are are is there a Nightmare Before Christmas horror game, or are you talking about like in Disney or in Kingdom Hearts? They have Nightmare Before Christmas worlds in those games. Man, I kind of want to play Kingdom Hearts for the stream sometime. Every time I hear see Fatal Frame, I just hear Mark going Mio. Yeah, for Fatal Frame two. Yes, that that's in my brain as well. Mio, Mio. I do remember that playthrough. God, that feels like that was yesterday, and that was probably, like, what, fucking six years ago? Seven? Maybe longer? Um, yeah, Fatal Frame made into Blackwater has been... Oh, wait, we didn't check what the fuck happened. Okay, I just picked this up. I think I just picked up the berries, so maybe it fro... Maybe it autosaved right after... That all happened. Wait! Here's the easiest way to check what we lost. Uh, the pictures... Where do I get to the pictures? Shit. Here's the thing for the person who asked what I don't like about the game earlier. I, for I forget where some of the stuff in the menus are. Collection. Oh, collection, right? I was just there. What am I doing? No, this is... Wait, these are achievements. What the heck? NES had to smack... Um the cart against the opening while pushing it down to work. Yeah. Yeah, so the NES is... They, they freaked out all the time. Fizzy, good night. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate that. Does anyone remember where I have to go to look at the little story puzzle things? I thought it was in collections. Maybe I'm a little bit silly here for thinking that. Me memories. It's the first freaking menu. This is what object permanence does to a motherfucker. This is what happens when you have worms living inside of your brain all the time that are just crawling around. Oh, it tells you where to find them, too? I... The... All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. Worn out places. What the fuck? You could do this the whole time? I just thought they were random. I thought they were just fun little, ha, ah, silly. Like digging with specifically night thorns. Like if I wanted to like farm a certain puzzle, I could have done that. Let's plays, everyone. <laughs> I'm also only learning today. Okay, at least I'm not alone here. Number one edutainment stream. Okay, well, did we get the aerial piece at least? Yes, we did. Okay, so I autosaved when I... Like, right before I alt control deleted. Does your game crash a lot? No. And actually, this is like the first time I think it's like hard crashed. Or hard frozen. Love how they have Remy in this game too. Yeah, you can have Mother Gothel Scrooge, Murder Mickey, and Remy. But God forbid you, <laughs> you have Rapunzel. I'm waiting for Rapunzel. I want her outfit so bad. Similar to me learning a year and a half in that you could individually level up talents and abilities in Genshin. I, I don't know. I don't know if I knew that because I don't play enough Genshin. I What if I play Genshin this upcoming week? Would you guys be into that shit? If I did Genshin? I, I, I haven't played in so long. I don't think I'm even to the second like continent or whatever the hell or whatever's happening in it. I have no idea what's happening in it. I'm down. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Genshin come Mondays. <laughs> The G is silent like a gnome, so it's just Genshin Mondays still. <laughs> yes, please. Oh my god. I guys, I've I've played Genshin here before. I don't remember everyone being this enthusiastic about it. Did you know there's a reward track for your uh filling your Pokedex? Yes. Um someone else asked me that the other day, and I was like, Yeah, they, they say it in the the tutorial. They tell you that in the tutorial. So you're the ones who button mash A through the tutorials, and I'm the ADHD kid. Who knows? Genshin Kucherov! Don't! No! Oh, oh my... Do you see... Actually, Martin Scorsese's daughter sent it to him? Like, make it a real movie? <laughs> the fucking Tumblr movie. That's my favorite thing ever. And then my other favorite thing is that Ryan Reynolds weighed in on it. And it was like, my favorite scene was like, whatever. And uh, God, that's the funniest thing happening on Tumblr right now. It's like reality bending. Genshin really had an impact. Wow, yeah, I guess so. 
Yes, but we've been playing since. Okay, so all of you who uh, who before were like, ah, we're kind of indifferent on Genshin, are now like Genshin fans, and you could probably help me because I'm going to be really far behind, and I'll be able to do that thing where I go, I hey chat, please tell me where to go. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and and I give you uh, sanctioned back seating in certain moments. Does that sound good? Would that be fun? Why would he need to confirm it? It's a real movie. <laughs> Actually made it back to Scorsese? Yeah, on, on TikTok. His daughter put up a TikTok of her texting it to him. Morgan sent me the TikTok. I cracked up. My attention span won't uh, last to read the tutorial. But here's the... Okay, so the one thing I don't like about Pokemon, like, straight up that I fucking hate about it, that's fair. Because in the beginning, they hit you with all this info, and they're like, do this, do this, do this. You know, fight, fight gyms, go... Uh, beat up these titans. Go uh, beat up the, like, delinquent bases. Blah, 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 blah. Team Star is evil. Um, and you're like, cool! I'm getting all the major gameplay aspects. Now, I have all the info that I'm gonna need. Tutorial done. And then, every new fucking menu that you open in the game. Like, I appreciate a little bit of, like, instruction. But it's straight up hand-holding. It's like, boop, big highlighted, like, area. Like, if you click this... You will get this. And I get that Pokemon at the end of the day is a game franchise meant for 10-year-olds. But, like, it's just, yeah. It's, as someone who grew up with it, it's like, yeah, sometimes I get the urge to button mash as well. But I'm so paranoid about missing important information, like that you get rewards from the decks in this one, that I, I knew that from the tutorial. But, yeah, they hit you with tutorials. I was, like, four hours into the game, and they were, like, trying to teach me something that I was like, I figured this out already. When you first played Genshin on stream, it convinced me to play for the first time. And anytime you played it on stream after that, I was so excited. All right, I guess we're doing some Genshin soon. Uh, I do have the Amber cosplay that uh, was gifted from Throne. So we'll have to do that as well. Uh, yeah. Um, Ten years old, I was translating Braille to figure out the, the Reggies. I mean... <laughs> the... the, the... <laughs> I fucking love the Reggies. I think the Reggies are great. Um, people have been sending asks to Neil Gaiman on Tumblr about Gondorf. <laughs> what an awesome time we live in. It would be nice if they would give you, like, the option to turn off hand-holding. Yeah, I think... I. So that's the biggest thing for me, is I will never insult a tutorial flat out because hand-holding is an accessibility thing. Some people need it. Some people can't, um, you know, decipher information the same way as other people. Uh, same thing with, like, the colorblind modes and um, things like the fact that the shinies on the overworld don't have, like, any indicator that they're shinies except for the color palette swap, um, and which would be helpful for me if they did what they did in Arceus, where they, like, make a little chime and they have, like, the, the shinies and I didn't have to, like, auto-battle everything or actually get into a battle to confirm that it's actually a shiny Pokemon. Um, those those things could be optional. Uh, but I also know that there was a lot of crunch with this game with, uh, with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and there's a lot of missing features, and it had a very buggy launch, as you've probably seen on social media a lot. Um, still a great game. Fantastic to its core, in my opinion. But uh, definitely one of those things where it would be kind of nice if they had had the time to really polish it up. And add some of those features, like, yeah, maybe turn off the tutorial as an accessibility thing. People who need it, get it. People who don't, can slide the slider to off, and that's good. Or people who want the challenge of searching for shinies by, like, going through thousands of Pokemon, versus people who want to be able to see it a little bit more clearly, because, like, what if I miss that shiny because I could not tell the difference in the color palette? Um, have that be a toggle on and off. Uh, I, I think that would be nice in a lot more games. And that is something that, like, why we raise money for Able Gamers is accessibility like that matters. It's uh, always at the heart of it. Might be like, oh, that's that's baby hand-holding. That's, like, easy game mode. 99% um, of the time, it's because it's an accessibility feature, which I really I appreciate when games do that. Uh, but still give the option for people who don't need it to turn it off. So that's just the way that I look at it. I had to help my little brother when he was, like, five because he was playing Pokemon but couldn't read. Oh, so he went through the entire game with only a starter, got the Elite Four, and was having trouble due to the lack of reading. Starter was, like, in their 70s or 80s. Oh, my God. Just, like, it's like uh, working out just one arm and having a huge bicep. 
Nintendo would rather actually sell Mario than have a more fl uh, flexible tutorial system. I mean, yeah, that's another thing is Nintendo is very behind the times on a lot of um, just <laughs> everything. Uh, they're a very traditionally like Japanese game dev, and so getting through to them what a lot of us have started to normalize in the West uh, isn't, you know, there's a little bit of a cultural or just old, just just generational difference. I think is some of it, because um, there's there's plenty of young people like in Japan who want more accessibility as well. So just one of those things that we'll see what happens as time goes on. Tutorials are a lot of hand-holding, but I do really like the storylines. It's not the most in-depth uh, story game. Being so short, it's very good. I like that there's a variety of different story paths in this one. Like, there were in Sword Shield to a bit, but um, with the new variety of activities that you can do in Scarlet and Violet, like, yeah, I love the way that they bake the stories to make you really care about a lot of the side characters. Um, and the stories are so different from each other. They operate independently from each other, but still weave into the same world storytelling I, I like that about this new pokemon game it's very very good especially with some shiny forms where the color is so close to the common form yeah it's like almost identical it is identical in my eyes because of the color blindness so yeah uh definitely generational difference and also probably a difference in goals seeing games as sort of uh seasonal slash short lifespan products i suppose yeah and that's the big thing i think that was probably alana's point when she stopped by earlier talking about how she doesn't see Pokemon getting an update, whereas, like, I hope there is because I hope they go, oh, wow, this is a game worth updating because uh, this game, for those of you who don't know, is Nintendo's best-selling title of all time. It moved, like, 10 million units in three days. Just unbelievable, like, record-breaking game. Um, I hope that they go, that's worth supporting. That's worth patching the clunkiness. That's worth... You know, fixing a bunch of the errors, adding some quality of life stuff, new features besides just DLC, stuff like that. Uh, but also, Alana is much more embedded in the game industry than me. She works with a AAA game dev. Granted, one that's based on the West versus one that's based out in Japan. But uh, she sees and interfaces with a lot more of that side of the culture. So if she's like, yeah, you know, Nintendo is very staunchly like traditional, like old school Japanese game dev where they're like, the game's out. That's it. That's what you get. It it moves, you know, it, it, it it's doing what it does. Um and that's it. That's all you get. Like we're we're moving on to the next one to sell the next one to you next year. Like that kind of thing. Like there's a lot of game devs that still operate that way. I mean, look at look at the Call of Duty franchise here from, you know, uh, Activision here in the West. They do that every year new Call of Duty. Uh it always has a buggy launch. Everyone complains about X Y and Z and they don't fix it. They make little tweaks here and there, but for the most part, they're like, eh, hey, that's the product you paid for, idiot. And that's that's what you get. Um, is it inherently bad? But yeah, there's a lot of catching up to do in some aspects. Yeah, yeah, us Japanese people don't know much about accessibility. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's the same same with Koreans. Like, I'm very aware of that. Um, if I'm repeating someone else's point, sorry, I zone out. No, not at all. No, I, I, I love the input, even if it's, uh, you know, layers on top of each other and supplements each other. I... Uh, haven't found any shinies or I can't see that they're shiny, so I haven't gone after one. I really want shinies, though. My best tip is someone who is very severely colorblind is you have the auto battle feature. So use the auto battle feature whenever, especially when you see outbreaks of big groups of Pokemon. Um, your Pokemon that you send out will refuse to fight shinies. Chat taught me that. I did not know that before. I was just like giving up. I was like, I guess I'm just going to individually battle everything until I see one that sparkles at the beginning of the battle. And then you get the visual of uh, once you actually enter into the battle to catch it, you'll see it flash a couple little shiny sparkles off of it. So um, I hope that helps you because that helped me a lot. So yeah. Uh, lots of respect for AAA devs uh, who work to make the games directly. Art code, super thankless work. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, huge respect to game dev teams, things like that. A lot of the times the the weird decision making is done by like sort of the top people at a company who are sort of out of touch, like, you know, CEOs, executive board people, investors, whoever. So I get it from a business standpoint. doesn't mean that I have to like it as a consumer. Uh, so, yeah. Most we play with Splatoon and we get updates a lot for at least a few years. It surprised me Pokemon wouldn't get updates even if they're only to fix uh, bugginess. Yeah, I mean, Poke it, it doesn't help that Pokemon is mainly controlled by one dev studio at Game Freak. Um, that said, uh, you guys know I work with Pokemon. 
And I will say this from what my contact was telling me the other day. Um, that Pokemon is very aware of a lot of the errors in the game. And they are, even if they won't admit it to the greater public, uh, they are aware that it was a rushed product with a lot of bugs caused by crunch um, deadlines versus letting the dev team sort of take a little bit longer on it. Uh, and that's why they were prepped with a day one patch. Oh, there's Ariel. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Hey. That's so cool. Oh, my God. Wait, come back. Don't you dare swim through Donald Ship. Come here and talk to me. That's so cool. I didn't know that. I thought that was a fish that I was supposed to catch. Sig is a shiny Sprigatito. Yeah, kind of. Um, he works with Pokemon. I thought they weren't real. Ah, yeah, he's he's big on um, making sure they have a better quality of life. Yeah, big big Pokemon rights uh, guy. <laughs> yeah, no, my Pokemon contact uh, gave us the heads up in uh, the Pokemon Discord that I'm in about a day one patch dropping with the release, and he was like, "Yeah, that's not always like the best news, but it's like better than not at <laughs> the version that you would get if you didn't patch it day one." Um, so. He was very, very upfront and transparent about that. And the fact that he was makes me hope that Pokemon is looking at this iteration of Pokemon as more of a longevity sort of project uh, and, and like long form and that deserves support and will have more and more people playing. And honestly, I, I said this to a friend earlier, uh, the skeleton features that are there, of like the social features, the fact that you can adventure with your friends, um, the open world aspect, etc., that they're all sort of trying to make all those features work with the new Pokemon is kind of promising for a potential, like, official Pokemon MMO in the future. I would fucking love that. I think they could make it work. Like, big open world MMO, the game I've dreamt about since I was a child. I think that they are kind of possibly moving the needle in that direction. And I think that would be fucking awesome. I think that would be great. Anyway. We should talk to Jody Benson, who I'm not going to be doing a very good aerial voice for. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. I can't wait to see Eric. Where is he? He went to Boyfriend Dungeon, and he became a very stinky man. Um, no idea. You don't remember? Say, you don't remember? Well, he was here with me before I got stranded on the island, but that was so long ago. I've got to ask everyone if they know where he went. Thanks for your help, Grabeagly. So hey, I just said I didn't know where he was. It wasn't really help at all um do you like living here i've been learning so much more about human stuff since i came to this village why don't you give me a test tell me the name of a human object and i'll tell you what it's used for oh i love this actually uh this is like in the movie where she's gonna label it something silly oh that one's easy it's for combing your hair what did she call that in the movie guys did we ever did anyone ever google challenge and figure out what the autobots are called in beast wars transformers I need to know or it's going to make me actually go insane. I'm going to go feral on camera. A dingle hopper. Man, you guys remember that one. That's good. I believe them. Oh, she even said it right here. I could have read the screen. <laughs> uh, someone said it was the Maximals. Was it? They're the evil little guys. Maximals and Predacons. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maximals and Predacons. That's fun as hell. I love that. Now it's my turn. I'll tell you the name of a human object and you tell me what it does. Do you know what a snarf blad is? Uh, it's a trumpet. That's right. Wow, you really know your human stuff. Yeah, I remember that from the movie. I know my Disney trivia. Snarf blad is a new competitor to Twitter. Everyone go sign up and get a snarf blad account. All right? Hive's dead. Snarf blad it is. We're all going over there. They got a live journal style posting. It's going to be great. Re-snarf my post. <laughs> Snarf flat these nuts. Oh my god. When you said that, it made me think of the I don't know my fruits audio. Wait, what one's that one? Am I, am I, am I boomerang out here? I probably know this. Morgan will probably be like, Brian, you know this one. I almost guarantee she'll be like, you know this one. Ariel, do you want to... Um, 
I don't have any of these things. You want a scallop? That seems like something an underwater person would like, even though you probably have abundance of them. Yeah, she liked it. Ooh, we leveled her up. Cool. Wait, she unlocks a Snarflat? Sick. All right, we got a mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who poisoned the watering hole in town? It was uh, Ariel by diving into it. Mickey, get out of here, dude. Lagoon mirror? That's cool. Hi. Hi. Let's go see your house. Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk again soon. She just dragged me underwater. Am I fucking dead now? Mickey came with us? Why are you here, dude? You're not... You're, we're not partnered up right now. Why, why are you here? You just followed me? Getting parasocial vibes from Mickey Mouse, everyone. You give Ariel the scalp and she's like, Sweet, a new top. <laughs> just one boob, though? Omnipresent mouse. Talk about under the sea. This is actually kind of awesome, though. This is cool. I like this. This is neat. I like her house. All right, what do I do for her quest, though? Cook the fall. Oh, we don't have. We have to level her up. I'm assuming. Shit. Okay. Mickey, what did you want me to do? Fish, Sammies, and crudités. All right. I want to go there. Yes. Has some genius really insisting via DMs that I should give them art in exchange for the funny doubloons meme. I'm so glad that you were able to block them because fuck that. Anyone, here's the thing. It's funny to make like the haha exposure joke every now and then. I, I do that here all the time. But, uh, wait, fish? It's not letting me fish. It's letting me put the fishing pole out, but I can't do anything with it. Weird. Um, artists, <laughs> but, but artists deserve pay and there's the fact that the mentality of like oh you're, you're just a fan artist or oh i could shouldn't charge that much for your art like fuck you shut up artists deserve way more than they normally get it, that is just my take at it the infamous mono boob oh god what part of rule 34 uh, un, uh little mermaid did i miss mickey is just following you to see if he can pick your pockets for a wallet <laughs> Yeah, I guess that would be a pretty small crime for him, for someone who fucking killed Minnie. According to the narrative we've been told so far by the game. <laughs> Goofy keeps following me around, he just appears out of nowhere and keeps starting me. Goofy is a jump scare in this game, and I will argue anyone who says otherwise. Goofy just being like, you're, you're like trying to talk to someone else or like finish a quest and you're just vibing, fishing, whatever. And then all of a sudden you just hear, gosh, like, like out of, outside of your periphery. That's awful. That is a jump. It's just terrible. <laughs> I hate it. And the way he runs, like when it's misty or raining or anything, he runs out of like, it just like appears next to you. Hey, you play out. Like, no, dude. Goofy interrupts you with the hell. Yeah, no, it's, it's a fucking horror game when he's on the screen sometimes. Or off the screen, really. Goofy doesn't make the sound when you push him off a cliff. I hope he disappointed. Oh, you mean the... That one? <laughs> Don't forget about Donald. Donald's not scary, though. Donald is just annoying sometimes. Goofy is a fucking terror. Goofy... Goofy is, he's horrifying. Goofy just, I, God, I don't, I don't know what place he has in this universe, but it shouldn't be right next to my eardrum. While I'm trying to, like, relax playing this game here and every, every four seconds. One of the patches I would like them to add would have him make his weird ambient, like, Walla style background noises way less. Please do that way less. Norman Goofy Bates? Oh, God. <laughs> Half-Life scientist noises? That's that's so fucking accurate. <laughs> he is... Yeah, he's a Half-Life scientist. Oh, my God. He's working at Black Mesa. <laughs> Add some fog textures to conceal your field of view in this game, and it's a horror... It, they, they do that. There's foggy days in this game. There are foggy days in this game where they run out of nowhere and they, they scare the shit out of you. 
I don't think it's supposed to be that way, but it's it's terrible. <laughs> My room fan just overheated. Wait, what? That's how horrible. I'm sorry that happened to you. Silent Hill 2? Yeah, it's kind of Silent Hilly. The newest edition of the Goofy Cinematic Universe? Don't give Austin ideas. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, they might have. Listen, if the dev team did not work under crunch and they were allowed to have fun, they might have. Like, Disney's very, very rigid in, like, what they allow in their properties, but, like, also, like, that would be a fairly innocuous thing for them to be able to get away with. Adding fog and making a little bit Silent Hilly. Been watching a lot of Drawfy recently, so my perspective of Goofy has shifted horribly. I don't, I don't think that I'm on the same page as you on that, so I'll take your word for it. I mean, I guess that our perspective's already, like, bad enough about him. No, Austin's still lurking! Look at what you've done! From the corner of your eye, you see him goofy, panting. <laughs> Taking breaths in through his teeth as he stares at you. A small smile begins to creep across his face. Yucking in the distance. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Hi there, pal, 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 pal. That's all you hear out of the, the deep fog. I want to see the Goofy Bates edits. Oh, God. You have your homework, Austin. <laughs> Good Lord. Now that's... Oh, God. Now you guys got that shit in my brain. God, half... I gotta, like, play a boomer game on stream one of these times and play, like, Half-Life. People are all gonna be... Oh, do it! That'd be fun! Yeah, I haven't played that game in a long time. Classic. Love it. Until we get into it and we're like, ah, oh, man, I'm kind of glad that, like... Some games have, like... Like, that, that game's great. Like, Black Maze is really fun. All those games are, like, really fun. But they have aged. They have become aged. For sure. Very fun games. But they they definitely... They they show their years a little bit. To be honest, I'd be down with it. Like, they're great. They're, they're very sound, solid games. But there are things about them. Like, I tried to play them again, like, four years ago. And I was like, ah. Kind of glad we have modern FPS games now they, once they drew goofy in the the jacko pose the name and example god i hate that i hate that so much those those guys are so chaotic um but i, I will say this half-life 2 holds up that game is awesome half-life 2 fucking to this day one of the best games my merch hasn't moved all day. Post office is trying to stop me from doing my job. Oh, no. Eliza, well, I hope that you enjoy it whenever you get it. Um, yeah, thank you again to anyone who's bought the, the most recent restock of the merch. And uh, just, I, I'm blown away. I, I, you guys know me. I don't have self-esteem when it comes to this kind of thing. I never expect anyone to buy my stuff. And the fact that we've sold out multiple merch drops over the years is like... I don't know, that's really wild to me. So, thank you very, very much for for doing that. Oh, here's my other big gripe about this game. It doesn't... This freaking game does not let you do multiple dishes at once. Like, if I want to do five... The five crudités that I need to do, it makes me hit autofill and cook it each time separately, which doesn't make sense in a game where you don't get a grade on how good your meal is. Like, if I hit this and it was, like, four-star crudités, you know, oh, cool, oh, I'm going to try different uh, ingredients then. And then it was, like, oh, two-star crudite. That wasn't a good ingredient to do. Um, that would make sense that they wouldn't let you stack them. But the fact that, and even in that case, like, I think they could find a system to make it work. In other cooking games, they absolutely do. But the fact that this makes me individually go through each of these is torture. It's bad game design. So, yeah. Why is Mickey side-eyeing you making food? Did he torture it? Or did he poison it? He might have. Then Again, the narrative in this game, I know it's probably not what they were going for, but it's like a mystery where Minnie is, and the way that he talks about Minnie is like the past tense, and you see her ghost around town, and there's been multiple moments where it's like, it sounds like he might know where she is, but, like, won't tell anyone. Like, it's, it's like, very, like, you buried the body, Mickey. Where Just tell us where the body is. 
I replayed the first tower defense game I played, and while I'm glad the genre evolved. I do that all the time where I get to, like, there are some things that have stood the test of time. Don't get me wrong. There's some things that nostalgia has not clouded my judgment on, and I'm like, this is inherently good. But there's an equal amount of things that I go back to, and I'm like, I fucking love that movie. Or, man, that video game rocked. And I go back to it, and I'm like, oh, boy, I am really happy that... I, did, I didn't know how badly this aged, like, the, the, the material in it or the gameplay mechanics are so clunky or the interface is gross or whatever. <laughs> like, that, that kind of shit uh, happens all the time to me, for sure. And you guys know I got, I got years under my belt now. I'm old. I'm a boomer. Please let me put in the number of how many of a certain meal I want to cook. Yes, please. If there's a mission that's like, make five of these, let me do it in one go. If I have the ingredients, why are you gatekeeping that from me, game? That's a weird thing to gatekeep. Why would you take that from me? Why would you Why would you make me, like, watch that animation five times in a row and have to listen to that? I mean, it's like a nice chime. It sounds nice. The doot, 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 doot. That's a good jingle. But I also, I don't need to hear that every time. Two fish sammies? How do I make fish sammies? Do I even have the recipe? I guess that's a, the other question. Grilled fish. We have grilled fish. Do I have to get this uh, from, like, Remy or something? I feel like this is a Remy thing. Mickey, can you please get the f absolute shit out of the way, dude? Mickey's dump truck booty is blocking my f entrance. Why are you so far? I mean, I like you, Mickey. You're fine, for the most part. You haven't tried to murder me yet, as far as I know. But also, why are you the one following me? Hey, oh, overalls. I forgot that you can buy shit from the window now. You want to, we should get some overalls. I, I won't lie, I will not ever get used to the fact that in a Disney game, I know it's a mannequin and it's not, like, sexualized, but, like, the fact that they still have, like, a naked mannequin in a kid's game is so, for a property like Disney that's so uptight about so many things, they're like, yeah, mannequin boobs, whatever. Again, not that it's, like, an inherently sexual thing, it's normally not a weird thing, I don't get weirded out when I go to the mall, but it's the fact that Disney who is, like, so fucking anal retentive about so many things, is like, yeah, naked mannequin, whatever. Oh. The insinuation of I boobs. That's $40,000 to buy the overalls, by the way. That's not, that's not gonna happen. No. You have his quest pinned, so he'll follow you. Oh, is that how that works? I literally did not know that. There's so many, like, things in the game that they don't explain. Oh my god, boobs exist, right. <laughs> Mickey's like, aha, uh -huh, you're next! <laughs> Mickey exists, Prime. Move, bitch. I mean, he's, he was in my way. Been doing a lurk, but suddenly very sleepy. Fairy Decay, go get some good rest. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for a bit. Appreciate you a lot. Thank you so, so much. They do tell you that? Oh my god, it's a, it's a moment I was just getting an... I was like, yeah, chat, I read the Pokemon Violet uh, tutorials. Where were you? And I didn't read the tutorial in this game. To be fair, I, I discovered shit on this stream. Multiple things on this stream about this game. This is a turn brain off and play game for me. This is my comfort. I'm Morgan and I watching like a episode of something. And I got this on my Steam Deck on the couch. Less worried about mannequin boobs and more about the mannequin moving when I'm not looking. That's so fair. Hey, do you want to know something about this game? Every day... The mannequin's different in the window and in the store. Sometimes they're reclothed after I buy the, the clothes off, off of them. So they are technically moving. Does Mickey even blink? Um, that is something I haven't tested yet, but God, I fucking hope so. I'm also really glad they took away the timer music for the, uh, the bonus harvest stuff like that. I get enough anxiety when it's the coins. I'm, I'm actually really happy that they, they took that away, though, because it was kind of annoying. All the stuff despawned before that, that music was up. I've been trying to see the animation if it pops up, but I, I don't think... I, we can stare at him for a second. Mickey, you want to blink for us? Oh, he did it! Nice. He, listen to me. This is a horror game. Vash, sometimes. How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Hope you had a good weekend. When, when are we watching Germa Light Sims on Fire? <laughs> um, What time is it? Holy fuck! <laughs> like, maybe now? I didn't realize what time it was. Holy shit. I completely forgot. 
At least they fixed Mickey's eyes. Wait, were they fucked up before? He did kind of have, like, the dead fish eyes for a little bit. A lot of the characters had, like, weird eyes. Like, Elsa's eyes in the beginning were awful. I don't know if they've changed those at all, but they were terrible. Same with same with Anna's, which is, like, it bummed me out when we got to that part because they're, like, some of my favorite, favorite characters, you know? I love Frozen. Did you get jump scared by time? No, I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, manner of speaking. I just didn't know. I was saying you played Disney Dreamlight Valley while we watched Jerma. Oh, got it. I thought you were asking, hey, aren't we aren't we overdue to watch her Jerma for the night? Oh. Most of the eye problems I saw was for Donald. I don't think I've stared into Donald's eyes long enough, so I, I've never seen it. <laughs> there, I mean, there, it's like I was telling Alana, there were a lot of fucked up things with the game at launch, but knowing that the dev team didn't have to work under crunch... That they had fun working, the work conditions were good. Um, especially because Gameloft, I'm pretty sure, makes a lot of... Well, they I know they make a lot of mobile games. But they like they have several games in their dev cycle simultaneously at any given time. So I know that about them. The fact that there's still like no crunch and like people were like treating them well as like devs, that's that's really nice to know. That like Disney was uh, treating game Gameloft well for this game. Um... Yeah, it's very fun. McCourt, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Get some good rest. Mika, thank you for the raid. Here to tell you you're wonderful. You're wonderful, Mika. You and your raiders are wonderful. Oh, my God. Thank you for the shout-out to Mika. If you don't know, my very good friend Mika, RIP Mika, one of, literally one of my favorite people in the world. I think that uh, they come up at least once a day um, between Morgan and I. We, we talk about Mika a lot. Uh, just because we we really love her a lot. And I'm glad to know that all of you do as well. Support the crap out of her. Support her streams. Um, support the recent move. Congrats again, Mika, on, on moving out, going on a new adventure. Uh, I know it can be, like, scary and rough, but uh, you got a lot of friends who love you deeply and care about you. And uh, if you ever need anything, please let us know. Um, Mika is amazing. If you guys haven't checked her out, please go do so. Those of you new here, hey, what's up? My name is Brian, a.k.a. Gerbigli. Uh, I'm a full-time Korean-American YouTuber, voice actor, and Twitch partner. Uh, I actually just, one of my games was like sort of like roles was soft announced by the dev team without them telling me earlier today. And I'm not officially allowed to announce it yet. But if you hear a voice that sounds like mine in a fairly recent action game, then yes, it was me. Um, I, I, if, if you go, wow, that really annoying uh like intentionally annoying like anime villain guy in this in this game uh sounds a lot like brian it's it's probably me um so long time twitter lurker here i'm so sorry for you i'm sorry that you have to consume my tweets uh thank you shadow replica for saying hello hello um if you're new here please read the rules so you just don't get timed out by any of us we're pretty chill and comfy tonight uh just giving people uh you know a break from the weekend um a lot of people you know have rough memories from around this time of year because of family um or you know loss of family or people who have to deal with family that doesn't see eye to eye with them or just the exhaustion of traveling uh you know that kind of thing if you had to work black friday i'm so sorry if you went out and shopped you're probably tired uh, we're just kind of vibing. We're just providing as many good vibes as we can tonight. So I hope that you enjoy them. And uh, if you stick around, thank you. Brian, both of your Twitter accounts go so hard. What the heck? I was actually ranting about the rant that I had on my alt last night. Um, and, and talking about like why I went off on that rant. And why I was comfortable enough doing so. Uh, based on the context of everything that was happening. And, and chat was very supportive. Everyone was really kind about that. And listening to me explain my boundaries and... Uh, why I thought that it was very unfair of the person to do what they did, uh, creating a false narrative about our community and how much of a safe space it is. Um, you're wonderful, babe. I love you. I love you. You're wonderful. Um, thank you so much to anyone who, who rated in with Mika. Mika, again, one of my favorite people in the world. If you like Disney Dreamlight, we're just sort of vibing, doing a couple of the sort of casual uh, quests here tonight. Hanging out with our pal Mickey Mouse, who's getting a little bit parasocial. He just side-eyed me. He's, getting, he's hiding behind a bush. He's, he's getting really parasocial here tonight. Very bizarre guy. Um, yeah, but that's it. We're just cozy space. 
Oh, hello, Michael. Yeah. Where are the bodies, Michael? I don't trust it. None of us do here. You're in good company. If you do not trust Michael Mouse, you are in the right spot. We have been... I wouldn't say slander, but we have a lot of suspicions. There has been a very good case being built against Michael. I can't believe I left a gem here. What am I? Someone who hates gems? Michael E. Mousington. No, no, no. That was his father. We have concerns. There are a couple concerns. Why can't I push his character model anymore? Wasn't that a thing you could do before? Push people out of the way if they were in the way? He's built like a brick house now. Damn. I will always slander this mouse. And that's well within your right, too. Welcome, Wrath of the Badger. Hello. I like your username. Um, what the fuck? Stop! No, don't do this right now. I have new viewers. Go away. Stop having your little crazy times. <laughs> Go. Stop it. <laughs> Unhealthy and inappropriate. Very unhealthy uh, expression of rage. We were talking about earlier how anger does not... It's not inherently a bad emotion. It's how you express it that is what you have to adjust. Exhibit A of... Uh, please, please, please don't project your, therapy, uh, your, uh, your, your trauma onto other people. Consider therapy. I'm in it. It's very good for your brain. <laughs> Donald will go to therapy. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Eat a Snickers. Yeah, at least eat a Snickers. Give it, you know, knock some things off of the checklist to see what will work best for you, Donald. Everyone's got their own pace and they got their own methods. Figure yours out, please. Can vouch for therapy? Fuck yeah, let's go. Therapy gang. I'm all about it. I really am. Uh, I used to be a psych counselor back in the day. And the number one thing I can tell anyone is there's nothing shameful about recognizing when you need a little bit of an extra push or an outside perspective. Try and therapy in a couple weeks. You should try it with me, Donald. <laughs> We're so proud of you here, Brookie. Oh, my God. I'm so excited for you. I hope that it goes really well. I hope it's a positive experience. Please know, also, this is a big thing that's, like, for some reason stigmatized for some people. But if you get a therapist that you're like, I'm, I'm not really feeling them. They're like kind of, there's something off. We don't click. They don't fully understand me or they're not listening. Um, that kind of thing. Or like, the, you know, they misinterpret the things that I say. Um, you know, obviously like give them a little bit of a chance because sometimes the method might be getting at something deeper that you didn't realize even about yourself. But if it doesn't click after a little while, it is a-okay to move on to another therapist. There's nothing personal about that. As someone who did psych counseling for a while, um, it, it, it's just like, oh, new client then. Okay, that's fine. They, they didn't work out. That's good that they acknowledge that. That's growth on your behalf. You're going to go out and you're going to find a much better fit for you that will give me time to find the clients that click with me a little bit better. That's all good. That's A-OK -okay to do that. Why did I do this motion on stream again? I just imitate and stop. I... <laughs> By the way, those of you new here... Um, if you don't know, I'm also a YouTuber. Um, I re in recent years shifted more of my efforts over to Twitch, but I'm trying to get the YouTube algorithm back on my side. I had a very aren't uh, very timely with this conversation talk about how uh, I experienced a bit of burnout recently, and I have a brand new YouTube video that's right there in the chat. Thank you, Austin, for sharing that with everyone. Um, so definitely uh, check that out. Get me back in the good favor of the algorithm. Maybe uh, listen to what I've been up to if you haven't caught up in a while or you don't know what I'm all about, uh, you can go check out my YouTube for a bit. Hey Got so lucky and find my therapist first go. Yeah, same here. Um, the, the wildest thing I like to remind people of is, uh, they won't understand me. Uh, they, you know, there's, there's therapists out there who like will not understand where I'm coming from or the experiences that I'm talking about or, or feel, you know, kind of crappy about whatever. My therapist literally is, is, uh, in a relationship with a full-time YouTuber. And she's older. They're they're both like, you know, like in their like 60s. And she, it, her partner is a full-time YouTuber and content creator. And so when she was asking me about my job, she was like, oh, I see here that you wrote that you um, do video content for your job. What does that mean? And I was like, oh, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer and voice actor. And it's like, it's kind of weird, you know, like not, not a lot of people, like I can explain more about it. And she's like, my partner does that. And I was like, what? She's like, yeah, my partner's a full-time YouTuber. She's like, I have tons of insight about that. 
And I was like, what the fuck? So, like, when I'm talking to her about, like, subs, or when I'm talking to her about the, you know, the content that I'm making, or, like, feeling bad because someone said something mean to me on the internet, she totally gets it. There's a, there is someone out there who will understand you. It might take some time to find them, but they will. They are, they exist. You told me that even like three years ago, I'd find a counselor who, or a therapist who knew what YouTube was and also knew the ins and outs of it and like what an influencer like thinks like and feels like. I would be like, eh, I don't know, I mean, it's maybe a little bit early. You know, YouTube's only been around for, like, a little bit over 10 years or whatever. And it's, ah, man, it's, it's not... Or, like, 20 years. Is it 20 now? My God, I'm old. I don't know how old it is now. I, I actually forgot. It's, like, almost 20 years old, right? But I'd be like, oh, we're still, like, in the growing pain stage. We don't, like, fully know the, the t full psychology of, like, the internet yet. But, no, she, she gets a lot of what I talk about. It's great. Really, really good. SPN, take care. Thanks so much for hanging out. It must have been nice not having to explain stuff and her understanding. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was really, really great. I've been going to her for um, a year, two years, year, something. <laughs> Can't remember now at this point. Uh, I meet with her once a week, and she's wonderful. I wasn't expecting to get the ball rolling so fast, but Wednesday I get a call after I order my Thanksgiving KFC. Ooh, you got KFC for Thanksgiving? Good choice. And they're just like, hey, we got a referral that your doctor wanted you to try cognitive behavioral therapy. That's a good one for your anxiety. Let's get ahead of schedule. That's great. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that they're helping you with that process. Um, when I first got into the public mental health care system, I didn't realize I could ask to see a different person. It really is worth switching if it isn't working out. 100%. And there's no shame in it at all. 99.9% .9 of the time, your therapist is not going to take it personally. And it's going to be a much better decision for you. It's not you quitting. It's you finding a better fit. It's getting you the help you deserve. Giving it a shot. And if it's the type of therapy that therapist isn't for me, not going to be hard on myself. Exactly. That's great. I'm glad that you're going into it with like a positive mindset. Also need to head out. Ecto, take care. It's so late. Have a wonderful date. Please tell us all about it. It's so cute. I'm so happy for you. Please, please, please have a great date. Thank you so much for dropping by. By the way, those of you who are sticking around from um, from Mika's raid and stream, um, what were what was Mika up to tonight? Tell us all about the stream. I, I always love hearing what she was up to. I, I just love Mika from like like the bottom of my heart. Like she's so great, easily one of my favorite people in the world. Um, please, please, please tell me what Mika was up to because I, I like hearing about what my pals are up to. Something that makes me happy to know that they're they're thriving doing their best. I saw she was having like internet issues earlier, right? Something like that. Which is always like the most fun part of moving is being like, oh cool, my internet sucks ass. What am I doing? Chat, I'm I gotta do the quest. I gotta I gotta go like I think I gotta level up Remy. Wait, I never did the Scrooge McDuck ones? These are like the basic of the basic ones. Ten pieces of furniture? Where? Peaceful Meadow? Why haven't I done this? Goofy Bates has done... Oh my god, Austin. Austin. <laughs> I mean... I'm, I'm nervous <laughs> to see. Thank you for making that, but I'm, I'm worried now. <laughs> Uh, a couple hours of just chatting and vibes. Oh, I love that. And then ADHD tangent and played uh, Zoom. Wait, Zum wait, Zombonies? Zumbinis. What's Zumbinis? What's that? I've never heard of that. That's fun, though. Playing some Zumbinis at, at the end. Nostalgic childhood game for me and her. Oh, I never played that. I must have missed that when I was, like, younger. That's cool. I love, I love, I, like, listen, we did Neopets streams back in the day. Starting to fade a bit. Chronic, go get some wonderful rest. Thank you so much for being a part of Late Night Gang tonight. Appreciate you. 90s uh, edu flash game. Yeah, edutainment's all that we're about here. You know that. The number one edutainment stream on all Twitch. Oh my god, maybe we'll have to play that. And they ported it to Steam. They've been porting a lot to Steam. Like the Freddy Fish games, I'm pretty sure, are on Steam now. Wait, didn't I ask chat a while ago if you guys would watch me play Freddy Fish games? Would that be funny? If I did, like, a point-and-click Freddy Fish game? 
Or, or would that just be like the goofiest, like, silly guy thing? Zubinis is on iPad App Store? Oh my god, I love that. I would, I would watch that. Oh my god. Maybe we'll do like Freddy Fish. I, I had like, um, god, like math blasters on here. <laughs> There's so many different games. There's, like, tons of retro games. There's a emulation website that is, like, for public domain games, so it's not illegal because it's public domain. Um, but there's, like, a website where you can... Uh, it's, like, ROMs of, like, old DOS games and stuff. And, like, really, really old, like, Windows 95, like, games and stuff. That would be kind of fun to explore one of these times. Should play the Putt-Putt games. They're hilarious. I don't think I ever have, so maybe I'll check those out. Love Freddy Fish games so much. I still think they're great. It's just so silly. They're so goofy, right? Honestly, I'll watch any old nostalgic games. Okay, we're going to do some boomer games. And I'm not talking about like, yeah, like I call like Persona 4 a boomer game. But I'm talking like real boomer games too. That would be fun as shit. That would be so good. By the way, those of you who missed the last Persona 4 stream, um, I just did some power leveling. So the next time I play it should be mainly story stuff. I know that a lot of people missed out on it because, like, the holiday week and everything. Some people were traveling or busy, increased work hours, whatever. Um, but, like, would love to see you guys who like Persona 4 at those. Or if you've never seen it, you know, give it a, give it a shot. We had a good little crew come through for that one. But it would uh, be cool to see uh, a bunch more people get into Persona because eventually I want to do Persona 5. You guys know I want to get more Square Enix stuff going on this channel. Some, like, more uh, JRPGs in general. Um... I want to play the, the second Tomb Raider game from, like, the newer series. I want to get God of War going, play Spider-Man again. All, all sorts of fun shit that we're going to do this year and the upcoming year. Nostalgic Game Night would be so fun. That would be fun as hell. Yeah, we should do that. First Persona game was 5, and it was a completely different experience for me. I love it. Oh, it's so good. It's really, really good. I like it a lot. I will say as an old-school Persona fan, Persona 3 is still my favorite. Pac-Man stream? <laughs> Let's see if I get the high score. I remember playing Scooby-Doo games on Medieval Castle. Are you talking about the ones um, that were like on uh, Cartoon Network.com? Like the Flash games? Because those games were awesome. They had like Scooby-Doo. They had like a Dexter's Lab one. They had... Uh, and then the ones on like Nickelodeon.com also were really fun. Play the Boomer games. I, th I think the website I was talking about with the old like emulated like Flash and like DOS games had those. All the old Cartoon Network games were great. They were so good. Even older, they were CDs. Oh, maybe I'll have to find if those exist on the DOS website. That would be sick. Have a good night. Yo, Dwucky, thank you so much for hanging out. Seriously, it was nice to see you again. Hope you get a, a bunch of good sleep. And thank you so much for joining us this weekend. Uh, maybe see you again on Sunday. Again, for those of you who don't know, it was supposed to be Femme Friday tonight. I'm sorry that it fell through. I was just really tired. Just, you know... Even though I had a pretty good weekend, it, like, even a good weekend is a tiring weekend. Um, so, and I can't do it tomorrow because uh, it's Morgan's stream night, and also I'm going to go see Dan for, like, a belated birthday hangout thing. Uh, my best friend Dan, those of you who know him. Um, so we're doing that, and then Sunday, so Sunday, uh, I'm going to do, like, a Girl Beagly, um, like, femme stream, which will be fun. Because I have a million outfits I haven't worn for this community yet. So that will be Sunday. Very fun. Very exciting. And then going into the week, there's going to be a lot more fun shit to do. I had a goofy skateboarding game for CD for our old PC. It was the, uh, only a trial, but I played the same one to two hours so much. I used to love when trials for games were like that long. It was so fun to replay them over and over. I used to do that with the PlayStation demo discs all the time. Should head off as well. Take care, Generic Glitter God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, do something nice for yourself. Thank you so, so much. Most of played the Flash games on the Disney Channel and Nickelodeon websites. Nice. And Barbie, Polly Pocket, MySpace. Or My Scene. Yeah. I don't know why I read that as MySpace. I got MySpace on the brain since we were talking about it earlier. <laughs> what was I doing? I, I got to put down furniture. What is wrong with me? Hey, we got we to gotta do the important story quest. It's going to take two seconds to do. I pick fruit that I don't need. All right. So how do I, how am I going to decorate the fields out here? 
I have to put down 10 furnitures. A yellow bike, that's kind of cute. I can put that, um... I'm gonna put that next to Wally's house. Because I love Wally. And he deserves nice, cute things. I like the idea of that one. Uh, what are your preferred pronouns? I've seen some of your femme stuff on Twitter, and I always smile when I see it. I don't know how to properly talk about that stuff. So if I offend anyone, I'm so sorry. No, you were very mindful, very kind about that. That was a very gentle way to ask about that. Uh, I, I go by any. Uh, I'm not picky because uh, as long as you're speaking to me with respect, I'm not going to get, like, upset about that. Um, we're just having human-to-human -human communication. I'm also someone who's not very big on labels. So I'm someone who always just dresses how I want and presents how I want and feels how I want. And uh, labels, I understand their importance for some people to feel like they belong to a community or feel like they can now identify, like, why they feel a certain way or... Um, like the label just feels like it fits and that's always so wonderful to experience and see. Uh, but I'm someone who doesn't really prefer labels. I am just who I am. At the end of the day, I'm still me. And uh, so I go by any pronouns. That's fine. I watched my friends play games on MySpace, but I never got on MySpace. I was too young and I was an internet rule abiding kid and never lied about my age to get an account. Look at you. <laughs> Wait, we got a burrow pinata? This is cool. Can you actually use this is the question. I, I don't think you can. This is neat. I'm going to put it like here. It's a fun celebration thing. How many was that? Two? Pennant light? Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. I'll put that there. That's cute. Do I get two of those or is it just the one? Celestial pillar. Oh, they're not going to match. Well, the one's good. I guess the one's good. <laughs> Refreshment chest. Ooh. Uh, we're going to put that by the uh, the crafting table. So, like, you know, we get a little bit of our masculine energy of, ah, oh, I'm crafting. Hard day of building stuff with my hands like a man does. And then I reach into my treasure chest ice cooler to pull out a pull out a Bud Light. Mm, it's a man's drink, you know? The one time I lied about my age or a computer froze and I was like, oh, God, they found me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. You were like, no! The one time I misbehaved. Oh, the, the the threats were correct. It was right. This is kind of cool. This would be cool in front of this thing. The Well of Souls. By that, by that thing? It's kind of neat, right? That's so funny, Austin. How many did we put down? One, two, three, four? I think four items. All right. I think I'm I think I'm decorating pretty well. This is nicer than I decorated uh Scrooge's shop where I just like tossed all this crap around wherever. To be a memester, to be a prankster. Huh? Prank channel. Alright, I'm putting the coral there because it leads down to the beach, so it's like on theme, you know. A bag of tricks. Uh that can go by Merlin because he's a tricky you wizard. Tea trolley. That's cute. Um, oh, there's night thorns there. I gotta get rid of those. Tea trolley. Uh, here, I'm gonna put that by the garden. So you you do your gardening, which is very wholesome yard work, and then you use the tea trolley to get get a nice little refreshment. Isn't that cute, chat? Say yes, or you lose the game. Uh, golden plant. Ooh, cool. I guess. I don't know if these are only aesthetic cosmetic things or if they actually do stuff. Kind of neat, though. I, I want to put a lot of stuff along the path. Aw, oh, cute. Okay, you have maintained your kneecap privileges, rookie. Yes, parasocially. Thank you. That's the theme that we follow here in this community. Is always be parasocial to the streamer. I lied plenty about my age on the internet, but when it came to actual household rules, I was so scared. One time when I was six, I tore... A tag off a pillow, the one that says do not remove. My dad was like, ooh, you tore off the tag. So that's not to do that illegal. And then I had a whole breakdown thinking the police knew I tore the tag off. I'm pretty sure my dad did something similar to my sister when I was growing up. <laughs> the one time I uh, cheated on a spelling test, I failed because I had accidentally tore the bottom off of a G on my spelling list and thought it was a Q. Crime doesn't pay. <laughs> it was the universe telling you, uh-oh, you did it naughty parasocial game you need your parasocial points that's why you get them here look at your channel points here anyone new here click your channel points check them out 
You are earning parasocial points simply by watching the stream. Look at you go. I'm so proud of you. This is why we're best friends. Uh, <laughs> one of these times, someone new is going to just be like, you're such a fucking dickhead. And then I'll go, yeah, you kind of got a point. Uh, when I was younger, I lied to online friends about a few years older than I actually was, so they asked me about being in high school when I was not in high school. That's so innocent, though. That's actually kind of cute. Did a lot of Googling to keep up the lie. <laughs> Thank God for the internet to allow us to lie on the internet about experiences we've never lived. <laughs> that's so funny. That's actually, that's, that's very funny. That's pretty innocent, to be honest, though. Listen, I, I, I've told this one before. I'll share this one again. When I was younger, um, I used to play a lot of, like, early text-based MMO games. Uh, as well as a lot of, like, really early... When I was in high school, there was, like, the, like, anime-style ones. You know, you had Maple Story. You had, um... Oh, man. I've said that I've, I've thought about doing a Maple Story stream before also. I have lied once about my age to get an account, but it was not worth it. Uh-oh. <laughs> I won't ask what account that is. Um, but I used to play, like, Maple Story. I used to play, uh... Just so many, like a uh, Flife, um, a bunch of like that more anime style MMO games way back in the day. And yeah, Adventure Quest was up there. Um, but but the ones where you like really interacted with each other uh, were my favorite ones. And I always played as a girl because uh, that's just what I did. Uh, that's just who I am. And I would always have someone because that was back in the day where you would just like, oh, you interacted with a person like a couple times. Uh, there was, there was this guy that I can't remember the name of the RPG, but it was text-based, uh, and, like, very basic graphic grid-based. Um, but I was, like, in an area of the dungeon where I was, like, losing to these monsters over and over and over again. And I was like, oh, but, like, I posted in, like, the general chat, like, oh, bummer, does anyone know how to, like, beat, like, level four trolls or something? And people were like, yeah, you gotta get, like, crystal armor and, like, this and this and this. And uh, I used to go by the name um, Crystal, just because it was a random name I'd picked back then for my girl characters. And uh, a guy just started, like, being really nice to me. And he started, like, just giving me, like, a shit ton of, like, items and, like, armor. He's like, oh, hey, I got, a, I got an extra, like, crystal sword and, like, armor set. And he just started giving me, like, a bunch of the stuff. And I was like, thanks, thanks a lot. And I just, like, didn't have the heart. Like, so, later, uh, this is a two, this is a double-sided one. You guys are feeling pain and cringe right now, but you're, you don't even know unless you've heard this story before. I have shared it before, but, uh, we were talking in general chat, like, a couple weeks later, and, uh, we were talking with, like, a group of other players that we, like, would go on, like, raids with and, like, adventures with and stuff. And he was like, yeah, hey, can me and my girlfriend come along? And they were like, oh, dude, you have a girlfriend? Like, that's awesome. What's it like having a girlfriend? And, like, they were asking him questions. And he's like, oh, she plays the game. She's Crystal. And I was like, uh, I suddenly do I don't feel so bad about, like, not speaking up that I'm not, like, really a girl and that, like, you're hitting on me by, like, giving me these, like, high rank items. I don't, I suddenly don't feel bad about you doing that because like you we never we didn't talk about that what do you mean I, i'm your girlfriend what we didn't talk about that what are you talking about it was a very weird and instead of confronting it because i was like i don't know i was like uh 14 or something at the time and it was very socially awkward <laughs> i just logged off the game um after that night and i just never logged on again i ghosted him i feel only a little bit bad though because that was like a weird title to just feel like yeah I gave you items so now I'm owed something you know he had very nice guy syndrome that so I just ghosted him I, I logged off he's still there. <laughs> he's still waiting for you to log on to this day the one that got away <laughs> sad you never played again that's okay I think I moved on to like a different game but that would happen pretty frequently was like even when i play final fantasy uh 14 now um you know i play a cat girl in uh one of the mikotes in final fantasy 14 online and uh <laughs> male characters will come up and they'll start typing to me and they'll be like hey do you want like some free items you, you like emote dance at me 
Too bad you're my girlfriend now. That's right. That's right. That's... I'm... I'm Treasure X Trove. I'm Morgan's girlfriend. So, don't you forget it, chat. We're in lesbians. Mikote... Oh my god, they're so cute and they're so fun to play, honestly. Um... Is that enough? For the quest? Oh, this stuff looks cool now that I'm, like, big. I can't interact with... Oh, that would have been so cool to whack the pinata and have it, like, respawn or something. Just as a fun animation, they should add that, even if it doesn't actually add any candy to your inventory or anything. By the way, chat, I have all this candy. I was supposed to be able to spend this somewhere. I never found out where I was supposed to spend this. Where the hell was I supposed to use this or put it or anything? Was it, like, a quest I hadn't unlocked yet? Am I just, like, too far behind? Can I not interact with any of the stuff that I put down? That's a little bit sad. Sport! Yo, what the heck? Thank you for the late night subs. That's super nice of you. Oh my god, speaking of Goofy in the Mist. There he goes! Look at him in the distance. That's so fucking scary. Sorry, I just... I, I, god, that's terrifying. I, I had to point it out. Thank you, Sport! Five gifted. We got gifted subs to Snowy Snow Wish. My friend Molly... Foxtrot got one. Uh, Shiro Live... Uh, Cammy loves you, and, uh, Wisteria. If any of you are in the chat, you better be saying thanks to Sport. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy the sub edge. Sport, I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend so far. Thank you so much for that, dude. That was really nice. You're supposed to eat it? Well, what did it do when I ate it? Did it, did it give me, like, more of the currency for the event? Am I dumb and I missed out? I reopened Roblox uh, for uh, fun a few days ago, and someone tried to give me stuff in a game. When I accepted, they were like, do you want to date? <laughs> oh, no. It's, uh, history repeats itself is what it is. Oh, wait. No, he has the quest done. I did do it. Okay. Does Sprite give anyone else the hiccup? Sometimes, if I drink it fast. I think it's just like the speed that you consume carbonation, if I'm going to be honest. Puts that pressure on your diaphragm yo austin what the heck thank you austin thank you for gifting a sub to the birthday girl nega oryx one of my favorite people in the entire fucking world i love her so much m montgomery remember the name because she's going to be an incredibly famous voice actress someday she's in so many things already but she is so sweet she's one of my favorite people in the world and it was her birthday today so thank you for gifting a sub to her that's really nice i don't think that she's here but m if you are if you watch this back please make sure you're saying thanks to my mod austin nunsky's there one of the best people i know um god i love oh my god i love her so much m is one of my favorite people in the world so so great uh, gave you more dream light and some Halloween items. No! Oh, no, I had no idea. Oh, I think you told me about it before, Brookie, and I just forgot. She gifted me a sub yesterday to her own channel. I love her. She's so sweet. She's like, she brings me so much, like, just hope for humanity all the time. Oh, my God. That's so cute. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to the channel for her. Back when I used to play WoW with my friend. Oh gosh, I have I know so many people who have WoW stories. We used to just leave our characters dancing in the town square while we chatted privately. We once came back to find like a group of people just watching us. Guy who tossed a fire down between us. <laughs> yeah, that happens in Final Fantasy XIV a lot now. I think it still happens in like WoW classic lobbies and stuff. It I, That's what I love about like hub cities and stuff in MMOs. Is you all go and you emo and you do goofy things and... People are dancing, and people are RPing uh, in funny ways. It, I don't know. It's just fun. Oh, he's talking to me. But you mustn't stop there, Gerbeagly. If you keep crafting furniture or purchasing it from me at a reasonable price, you'll make the meadow shine like the gold in me money bin. I, guys, I'm never going to do a Scrooge McDuck impression. I'm just letting you know. It's just never going to fucking happen. So sorry for anyone who's let down by that. I think it specifically gave you jack-o'-lanterns of different faces and patterns. What happens if I eat them now? Let's try. Mmm, yummy candy. Doesn't look like anything. Oh. Uh. Well, you know what? Save it for next year. Hand it out to trick-or-treaters. <laughs> So all those regular jack-o'-lanterns that I did end up getting? Or I think maybe maybe I got more than one. Maybe I only got the one. So this orange trick-or-treaters bounty, like there was there were more of these? 
This helps you with your stamina, but very little. <laughs> As candy does, right? You're just ingesting pure sugar. So you burn through it super quick, and then you get tired again. It's not, so, so kind of accurate. Okay, cool. So we did a quest. 50, only 53k bits are, sport, that's a lot. That's a bit, that's a big endeavor to take on if you end up taking that on. That's wild though, that you've, you've even gotten that close. That's wild. The sugar crash, oh yeah. I've been experiencing that a lot. I've been eating a lot of candy. Leftover Halloween candy over the past couple weeks. <laughs> All right. Let's put away stuff while we're here, at least. They're specifically pumpkins. Oh, and there might have been more buckets. Oh, man. That's kind of a bummer. Well, um... Oh, I don't have that. Wait. I guess I gotta build another chest. I'm gonna put, like, special event items in, like, another chest, I think. Wait, I can't get to my... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Give me one second, chat. Forgot how to do everything. <laughs> Alright, now I think I can get to the music. Yes, okay, very important to be able to get to the music. Um, I don't know, maybe put a chest by the door. I'm starting to get to the point, this is like my Minecraft houses. You guys have watched me play Minecraft a number of times where I just stack a thousand chests together. Which... <laughs> Oh, God. How do I make this? Oh. It's like, did I click the wrong menu again? Okay, just one. Just one is all I need for right now. Okay. By the door, probably, right? It's in here, right? Am I... Or am I being weird? Where is this? Where's the chat? Where does where oh it's right here. <laughs> oh no one saw anything, I got it right away. First try. Easy. You know? So <laughs> haven't played a video game as much as I'd like this week because I got three vaccines while at the doctors and my arms are sore. I bet. The fact that you are even able to type at all, Brookie. <laughs> impressive, to say the least. I salute you, and, um, I also don't envy you. I salute and don't envy you. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so, shiny peridu. Peridot, peridot. Yeah, I got you here again. And we've had this talk a couple times. Is it said peridot or peridot? How do you say it, chat? I want to be uh, influenced by you. I want to be swayed by your opinion on this word. Today's actually the first day I don't feel any soreness. I got them on Monday. Oh, wow. So they've been, <laughs> you've been dealing with that for a while. I'm so sorry. That's rough. Parasocial dough. Oh, my God. I mean, I, I ask for... I ask for these things, is what happens. I ask for them. The final trial? Ice heart. Wait, where do I get ice heart? Oh, I have to craft one. Okay. I'm going to do Merlin's quest here. I just refuse to say it out loud. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Period. <laughs> Paradox. Oh my god. I, you know, I should have guessed asking a, a question to chat was going to result in this. Hey, Jerry, you want to watch me make some stuff with my manly hands that you see here in front of you? So manly. Look at me. And then I'll reach into this cooler and I pull out an ice house beer. Keystone ice. Say a paradoxal god. Get out of here. <laughs> What was I doing? Oh, I have to craft something. You can't make anything not a parasocial joke. What can I say? Very parasocial of you. I just referenced par uh, Steven Universe Paradot. 
Oh, do they say it that way? Okay, so, uh, alright, maybe they're doing it right then. I believe I would be more apt to believe them and their pronunciation than what I, I'm doing. See, I thought it was French. So, I, T's at the ends of words in a lot of French words are silent. So, I just thought it was paradot. <laughs> Learning from example. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, it says the craft stuff. What's an ice shard? Huh? Do I have a... I don't think I have a recipe for that. Is, is this something that I don't have yet, chat? I have falling water. Mushroom. Oh, this is a gather! This is a gather thing. <laughs> Paradoot doop. I hear it pronounced both ways, uh, but I just never say it. Ice heart? Down there. Crafting, probably, right? Ice heart? <laughs> Parry the platypus! No idea what this game's about or what the end goal is. It's uh, just like a life sim, sort of like Animal Crossing or Stardew. So it doesn't really have an end goal. You just sort of collect resources and make stuff and take it at your own pace. You know, make friends with uh, your neighbors and decorate how you want. It's really cute. And especially if you're like a Disney fan, it like really definitely there's something there for everyone. All right. Ice Heart. What the fuck? Crafting. This is crafting again, though. Ingredients, right? No, that's for cooking, right? Yeah, that's only cooking? Oh, my God. Chat, I'm going to lose my mind. Foraging, I guess, because it's gathering? So hard to sleep the first couple nights? Oh, I bet. That sounds terrible. You got an hour or two the first night? I Yeah, I, I mean, God, that's just... Every round of the vaccine has been that. It's like, oh, man, I woke myself up because I rolled over onto my arm that feels like shit. They should have, a like, a text-based search function I can type in what I'm looking for. Maybe I need the... Maybe I need... It says a gather ice heart, though. There's only one of them. I wonder if it's up in the frozen area. It might be up here. We might as well look, chat. Hey! Baby fox, baby fox, do 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 do, baby fox, do 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 do, baby fox, do 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 do, baby fox. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's so cute, dude. What does the baby fox say? Shit, what the fox like in this game? Sleeping on a side gang, unite. I sleep on my side sometimes. Speaking of which, I should get to bed. Yo, Austin, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope that the haircut goes well. Appreciate you a ton, dude. Thank you so, so much for vibing. I can't wait to see the nightmare fuel that you made, by the way. Like, ice tier seed? Do I need that? Does anyone know what what you do in this quest? Cheers, love. The oh God! No baby fox songs. Plazanin, thanks. <laughs> Plazanin, thank. Thank you. What the? Oh my God! I thought there was just a hundred. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, sport. For the five hundred bits. That's really nice. Dang! Thank you so so much. Yeah, if, you, if you're prepping to be a mom, you definitely gotta be like a side sleeper. For sure. <gasps> Is this an Arctic Fox? What do these guys like? What do you like? Do you like the berries from around here? What do you like? Guess I can try. Like fish, maybe? I don't have any fish to give them. Shit. Shiny Fox. Yeah, Shiny Fox Pokemon. 
cherries? I mean, cherries are from their biome. Maybe they'll like them. No, you don't like it? Ah, darn it. Okay, swing and a miss. Um, yeah, maybe I'll fish and maybe give one of them a fish. I want to friend a fox because I think they're cute and I like foxes. Oh, hey, what's up, Anna? Oh, he's watching me fish, too. This fox wants to be friends, for sure. Cute. Ooh, a crab! I don't think that I've ever gotten a crab in this game. Remember being able to sleep on my stomach when I was younger? Uh, one of my cats slept and kneaded on my back. That's actually so cute. That's very cute. Hey, what's up? So you don't want to be friends anymore because we already played Chase or whatever. <gasps> Ooh, hey! Another one. All the special foxes are finding me here. Really cute. Where do you go? There's this one at least. Hey! Hey! Stop all the running around! Get over here and take some of my gabagool! I fished out this gabagool specific specifically for you! Salon? Oh yeah, he likes the salmon! He happy? Oh, hell yeah! All right, I, oh my god, I became friends with the fox. Give me a dreamlight shard. Not what I need, but oh, memory. When you sleep on your uh, your stomach, you don't snore. That's so interesting. Oh, it's a full scene. It's it's Ariel. Oh, Wally's showing her a toy train. That's actually cute as hell. She's showing him. Oh, wait, no, she's sharing her bits and bobs. Okay, my face cam's blocking this. One second, chat. That's actually, that's that's cute as hell. Oh, no, where did it go? I clicked on it. Okay. That's cute as hell. Look at that. They meet, they're friends with each other. Ariel's got her, like, chest of, uh, like, knickknacks from under the, the part of the world. You know what I'm saying. Um. Uh, from where her grotto, Ariel's grotto, and she's showing him the toy train and Wally, who like doesn't, you know, yeah, the collectors, the ones who like don't experience humanity, so they like have to guess. Oh, that's actually so cute. I love that. Like thematically, that makes sense too. That's really cute. All right, nice. I'm glad that I I got that shiny tourmaline. Ooh, that was her first shiny tourmaline. Her first feed the fox. New quest? Wait, new quest for Wally? Oh my god, my, my sweet summer child. Alright, this is me not asking a hypothetical question. If you have done the final trial with Merlin, where I have if to find the ice... What kind of a package deal? Okay. Um, the ice heart... Any idea uh, where I should go to go grab that? There's a gather an ice heart, and I, I just don't know where that is in this game. If you know, um, then you are the MVP for the stream. Yep, I know. Big title to give out just like that, but you'll, I'll, I'll count you as the MVP. Just like that. The ice heart. Or the or the eye shard. Someone out there wants to be the MVP. Their little Google fingers are tap tap tapping on the keyboard. I can hear them through the screen. Didn't he give you a seed to grow? That's how you get it. Oh, really? That is news to me. Because it says, it says ga I guess gather still, yeah, I guess that would still count, right? As a gather to grow something and then gather it. Ooh, I got a tilapia. Thank you for the, the heads up. By the way, the MVP, rookie. My tab was at 9%. Please go get some good rest. Thank you so much for hanging out here, baby spell. Oh, because the ice tier seat. Oh, my God.
I... <laughs> the answer was in front of me all along. Thank you, Brookie. Hey, oh, that grew fast. Nice. Oh, it's already harvestable? Holy cow. Nice! Oh, my God. Crafty enchantment. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What nothing wrong with me. We did it. We're going. It's midnight here, and I got work super early in the morning. That must mean it's 3 a.m. here. Holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with me? Sport, take care, get some good rest. I'm ending the stream. <laughs> We have, we have to, we have to, I, I have to do the, I gotta craft it. I'm gonna craft it. We're gonna give it to Merlin. Holy shit, I had no idea what time it was. I need four more mushrooms! I'm gonna freak out. I'm angry. <laughs> How did this happen? How did this happen to me? I made my mistakes. All right, there's one. Oh, thanks, Big. You're welcome. Oh my God, Sport! Thank you for the uh, thousand bits. Appreciate that. Have a good night. Get some good rest. Thank you very much. Okay, two. Oh my God, we could do it right now, chat. We could. We could have our dreams come true. <gasps> Crocodile! A baby guy. Three, I'm here, but I accidentally slept until around 4.30. Listen, I've had those days. No shame in it. It happens. Also, with like season... I, I, I live in New York State. For those of you who don't know, it gets so cold. It gets so... Like, awful and dark here. Uh, during the winter that it's like, it really affects my seasonal affective disorder. So, the the winters are extra tough on me. I, I'll definitely have a few days where I like sleep until that late. That's it for the rabbits if you want it, unless you already know. Um, no, please give it to me because I know every animal has their own like way of interacting, right? Ah, shit, chat. We've it, No more mushrooms are spawning right now. We might have to wait until next stream of this. That's okay. We have the... The quest is highlighted. I know what to do. Almost beat it already. Actually, is this one of the story ones or is this, this one of the side ones? This is a side one. I might do this off stream. Because I think this just gives us the better watering can to water the... The bigger mushrooms with. To be able to, like, expand the map a little bit more. I think that's all it does. So, yeah. I might, I might do this one off cam. Oh, the witch hat's cute. I gotta go. I did not realize it was fucking three. Wow. Time flies when you're having a good time. Might snow this week. We are... Yeah, it's uh, it's it's really interesting. Because, like... um, You know, we've already gotten snow here. Uh, in western New York. But... Ro so, Rochester uh, is a city that is located in the western part of New York between um, Buffalo, which you might have seen in the news as getting, like, fucking four feet of snow, uh, and uh, Syracuse, which also had pretty heavy snowfall recently. And Rochester's, like, right in between the two of them, and somehow that snow pattern completely missed us. We got, like, little tiny smattering of snow here and there that didn't really stick around. But it has snowed in Rochester this year. And uh, I, I don't like it. But this upcoming week, apparently, we're getting pretty decent weather overall. Where we are getting, um, I think, like, weather in, like, the 50s or something. Like, the 40s or something. Like, something that's not, like, awful. Because normally, the weather around this time is, like, fucking 30 degrees every day. Or lower. So, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a little bit of weather fluctuation. Even though it's probably an indication that we're dealing with irreversible, terrible global warming. But, you know, at least I'll be able to wear shorts while I die. 
Um, anyway, chat, that's it for tonight. That's all we got for you. Over here on the good old Gerbigly channel, number one entertainment stream on all Twitch.tv. Had a lot of fun. Thank you so much again for sharing your time, sharing part of your weekend, vibing. Um, thank you, like seriously. Uh, all of you are, are great company. Uh, really good conversation tonight, just vibing out. Listening to the things that I'm rambling about and just everyone, I don't know. This was fun. This was a really good way to unwind after the, the week, the weekend. All of you are great. Um, I hope that you know that and that you are always welcome here. And that I see you again. We'll be streaming on Sunday. Uh, probably do a uh, Femme Cosplay then. So something something to look forward to together. And then we'll figure out what to do for the meat and potatoes of the content. But uh, hope to see you guys around. Remember, new YouTube video. New YouTube video. Please go watch it. Please get me back into the favors of the algorithm. You can do that by watching it. Even if you just put it in the background. Like, if you watch the whole thing, watch time is more important than view count uh, on YouTube these days. So even if you put it on in the background while you're, like, washing the dishes or something, that actually helps me out a ton. So if you can watch that, that'd be fucking dope. Um, merch. Still got a little bit of merch left for the holidays. If you want to go to the merch page and check out even the past collections, we got some of that stuff in stock as well. Um, so that's good to check out. But yeah, I'm going to be uh, getting back to voice auditions next week. I'm going to be uh, probably putting up more YouTube videos very soon because I, I, I just I was editing it earlier today and I was like, I feel really fulfilled right now. Like I feel really, really fulfilled right now. Uh, doing YouTube stuff again. I'd love making videos. I'd love to get back to sort of like what I used to do there with regular videos. So um, keep an eye out. Keep an eye on me. I'm doing everything I can to make the best content on the internet. So thank you for aiding me in that. Um, all of you are fantastic. It's three in the morning. Otherwise, I would have... I mean, there's like a million people streaming still I could raid. But uh, let me just do shout outs quick, I guess, because um, I'm just... I, I, it's three... I, I should be asleep by now. Uh, Greg is streaming Fortnite right now. My boy Greg. Love my boy Greg. Good, good boy. Uh, Feral Wife, uh, my friend Ellie, is uh, doing a Just Chatting stream right now for Feral Friday. She is wonderful. Definitely go check her out if you can. Um, Jason Sully's doing Valorant. If you want to watch some head click shooties. Julia, what if Julia is doing God of War? Go check them out. Be nice. Disperse. Remember what we say here. Be mindful. Be kind. Be great. I know you guys are. That's why I defend you tooth and nail when people slander you and say that uh, you're not a safe space. You're not a safe community. Not the fucking case. Not the case. We've been doing this for almost 10 years now. We've built too much to have some fucking idiot say otherwise. You guys are awesome. I will defend you tooth and nail. Till the day I die. I'm going to go ahead. I'm wrapping up. So be nice. Be kind. Thank you so much, Brookie, for putting all those links in the chat, by the way. Pick your favorite. Go try out someone new. You never know. You might find your favorite streamer. Hope you all have uh, had a good time, though. Uh, thank you for the follows, bits, subs, resubs, gifted subs, donations. Everything that came through tonight it allows me to do this, uh, which is just wild. <laughs> Defend us parasocially. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't talk about my friends that way. <laughs> Thank you so much. All of you are great. Thanks for the conversations. Thanks for the company. Whether you chatted or lurked, you're great. Hope you all have an absolutely wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it may be for you. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you so very much. I really, really do. Finger hearts, as usual. I'm gonna go ahead and end this stream here. I don't know why I suddenly got like a weird lisp. <laughs> like biting the inside of my cheek while I say bye. Thanks, everybody. Take care. You're all wonderful. Have a great weekend. See you Sunday. Bye, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.